think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat moths That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright bro, you ready? Yo, DSG, can y'all hear him? Say something? Move Gang Pizza Hut Olive Garden. I don't There's know where. There's no way you just said. <laughs> Listen, we starting off crazy. We gotta start off insane because this whole interview is gonna be insane. We gotta do that. That's how we gotta start off. All right. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me grab me another glass of wine. Then hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on. Let me, let, me grab, let me grab. You might need it. You might need, it. you might need it. You might need it. Uh, what's cracking, everybody? How's everybody feeling today? My name is Setos the God. Uh, that is my actual name, not the God part. Just Setos. That sucks. Um, pleasure to see you all. Cracking. I can see the chat, so if you guys roast me, you're more than welcome to the front. Thank you, appreciate it. I have the red for Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and then Ultra Ego in the back for purple. I love Dragon Ball Z, one of my favorite things of all time. I'm known for marrying a 90-year-old woman um, on TikTok and telling stories. That's pretty much um, how it operates. So that's how it operates. The interview... Okay, okay first, first of all, you know about the Guild Guild. You married a 90-year-old woman? <laughs> yeah, I married a nine year old. Yeah, you can't just come in here and say that and act like that. You didn't just say that. I did, did you yeah. just say you like? Hold on, you still married to her? No, no, she died. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Yeah, she's gone. She's uh, she's sixty feet under. She is uber gone. She's done as hell. N she's well done. This nigga yeah. said she's sixty. Yeah. Yo, I, right, yo, bro, I thought I was unfiltered. You, any friends you might got a chip. Hold up, bro. I don't think you understand. I'm streaming on Twitch. <laughs> I'm on Twitch too. You might have to calm down. I'll, don't bro, worry. I'll, 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 I'll calm down. I, I, just I just got partnered. Up. I just got partnered. Please, you can't just I'll, say that. Like, bro, what the fuck? I won't say anything that will get you banned. I'm, I'm very familiar with TOS. I got you. <laughs> and you know how many times I got banned already. I'm aware. Oh, I'm aware. I've been following you for a hot minute. I'm quite aware. You are. Right. I will. I will explain it how my brother explained it to you, and the reason why he put me on your content. My brother, my older brother, put me on your content. Yo, I just had to say thank you to Crunk Jeezy for the thousand bits. I had to mute that. I know you even said I should mute it. Yo, thank you to your brother. Shout out to your brother. Who's your brother? My brother's name is Cornelius Joseph. That's his first name. He is. He has mad beef with one person that he does not need to have beef with. He has beef with Heavenly. I like Heavenly. He has beef with Heavenly. He met Heavenly. And uh, it was a whole beef. Because of that, because Explain of that beef with Heavenly. I want to hear about that. Not cause okay. You know, do you know my you know my, uh, my shit with Heavenly, right? You know what happened? No, what, no, no. What happened? What happened there? You want to hear about mine or you want to tell me yours first? I'm going I'm to I'm go through a quick synopsis of what happened. All right, let me hear it. My brother was in Detroit, mm -hmm. right? He got flown out by um, some girl he was talking to, some black girl, some uh, OnlyFans creator or something like that. Heavenly right? was talking to a black girl. No, no, no. My brother was. My brother oh, okay. Was. I was that's, like, I was like, that nigga, we must be talking about two different niggas. No, that's not happening. Right, no you shot. know that. All right. Yeah, I'm aware. So what happened after that was he goes to he go. My brother gets a plane ride all the way out to L.A. And Heavenly and Violet Myers are in the same room chilling. My brother was chilling with some girl new Violet. And Violet and Heavenly are like best friends or something. I'm confused by this. My brother tells me, he FaceTimes me on my iPhone, my iPhone right here, he FaceTimes me. And he's like, hey man, we chilling out LA, man. Hey, you gotta come out here one of these times. I'm like, nah, I got work. I'm working on Amazon. I'm not really concerned about that. So my brother, he 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 just 10 minutes later, he's like, hey, we gon' we gonna take this bro out. I'm like, what? My brother's a Detroit nigga first and everything else second. He's like, we're gonna take this bro out. We take I'm, I'm sick of him. I'm like, what? He a weirdo, bro. And he's on Heavenly's neck. He, my brother gets kicked out. I gotta, oh, I gotta send this man five hundred dollars in L.A. He gets kicked out. I'm like, what happened? I was about Turns to... out, Heavenly just said something. One thing weird, cause Heavenly, I don't think Heavenly knows how to talk around niggas. I don't know. I don't know. That's nah, just. I, I, I've been it, around, bro. It's he does not. It's not. I was like, that's strange. So last year, I get flown out by Emma Magnolia. Emma Magnolia, uh, Yo, great one. If you ain't, you ain't gonna put me on. <laughs> you want it? You want it? You like Emma? Think of course. I knock ass down. Fuck, you talking about the thick ass white girl, right? Fuck is you talking? Of course I knock ass down, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. But 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 look, don't tell her that. You just 
got I'm not, like, I'm don't not even going, tell I want to meet or nothing like that. You just got to get us in the same spot. And that's all. I got, I, I, got I, I got the rest. I got the rest. I got the breast. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. So I was, I was out there because I got flown out in a YouTube video. You can look it up on YouTube. It's on Emma's channel. It's on Kazumi's channel too. Kazumi, Violet, Emma, they all flew me out for this thing called the Simp Olympics because I want to eat day. So I was like, cool, on a guy called Neon Snyder Panda's channel. I fly out there. Emma's chilling with me. We hanging out. We, you know, doing the doing thing. So after that, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I party all night. I'm tired as hell. I wake up next morning. Emma gets tested the, that morning. She, she drives me to the shooting where we're doing like, a YouTube video. Oh, like, 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 like she just went through a real nigga test? Like as far as like you was trying to see if she a real nigga? What do you mean she got tested? Like in um, the street? What you mean? Like, 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 she got tested to see if she had, um, like a negative key downstairs in her mix up. You know what I'm saying? That's like, like, that's. So she you, got hit, you hit, and then she got tested after? No, no, no. She got tested before. Okay. I was like, yo, there's no, like, do you say how that's backwards? Okay. But continue. Mm, yeah, bad. yeah. Just, uh, my bad. My bad. So I, I, I hang out, I, I, I hang out with Neon Sniper Panda, John Zerka, um, and, and take This I'm, nigga Zerka. Mm hmm. He's he's he is he is a he's an interesting cat. Like he's he's kind of wild. He's kind of how you feel about fresh and fit. If you're his friend, he's really cool. If you're not, he's a psychopath. Yeah. Not Snyder Panda Zerka. I met the kid that did the Bill Clinton thing. Um, I'm, I'm out of these people, and then for some reason, I don't know why. This is gonna sound psychotic. Tyler was there. The like, Tyler creator was there. I don't know why he was there. Wow. No clue. I have no clue why he was there. I I got two interactions with this brother. And then Heavenly was there after Tyler left. Heavenly arrived. And I finally get to meet Heavenly for the first time. First time I remember. First time. I meet him. And for, I'm not going to lie to you. I vibe with him at first yeah. until I realize he does not know what it means to be a nigga. He knows what it's like to be black, but he doesn't know what it means to be a nigga. And I'm, I'm, I know I don't look like him with my nails painted and stuff like that, but I am a nigga first. Because I was definitely going to ask. Said. No, no, the no, no, no. This, this, this is a ploy to get BPD women to talk to me. Okay, this is a complete when I different. Saw it, I, I was like, yo, this nigga got his, his his nails painted like Starfire. You know what I'm saying on the, you know what I'm saying T Titans. I was like, what's up with you? But I right, go ahead. This is this is a ploy for BPD women. This is this is like, oh, he's feminine. So nope, I'm a narcissist. Anyways, so right. it, it's you know it's like, but I, I'm because when I, I was I was a street I was a street nigga for most of my life, and then after that, like, it, I only watched Dragon Ball Z, didn't watch any of the anime. I'm like that kind of nigga. So okay. Like learning, learning heavenly, it was a different experience because he is not anywhere near Zenit. He tries to be, tries his best to be. He tries to be hard. He's saying it. Yeah, but he's not. He's he's like white bread. No, he's nothing. He is definitely. Yeah, he, yeah. I I I can see him calling me the hard R. You know what I'm saying? Like I could definitely see that. But, <laughs> it feels know, racist like, when he says nigga. I don't know why. It feels, feels racist. Yeah, tad, I don't know why. Man, you know what I'm saying? But continue. Now, now that was that was pretty much the interaction I had there. Um, then I ended up uh, having to fly back same day because I still I worked at Amazon, so I had to come back. Yeah. But now I'm full blown content creation, and now that's the jazz. But why don't you? You don't like Heavenly? What's up? What, I'm curious. No, 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 no. It, it's not okay. So look, when he was going through his whole shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You remember what he was going through? So I was still talking to a nigga behind um, scenes and shit like that, and I didn't try to sit there and publicly condemn this nigga or nothing. I wanted to hear from him after I saw the shit because I saw the text message and the bitch saying she got assaulted. And I'm like, through a text message, you never met him? And I, and people was like, yo, I'm happy she survived. I said, surviving a text message? So, and I was talking to him. And I'm like, yo, I'm not going to sit there and do what everybody else doing because they care about brands. I don't have brands. I don't have brand deals, sponsors, nothing. So, I was still fucking with him and Minicon. And we over there in, um, in Miami, right? And the nigga Minicon, you know what I'm saying, uh, I ain't gonna hold you, you know what I'm saying? He get bitches. But he be pressed for it though. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like a little press for it to where he like, like, I ain't gonna lie. I lived that life before to where it was like, you don't have fun unless you're getting bitches. And I so I know what that's like. And that's basically how Minicon is, you know what I'm saying? And so we over there in uh Miami and we in a car, we had to drive through at some place. Minicon talking to some girl. And uh, she said something looked good, and I said not as good as you. I don't know her. Didn't even look mm -hmm. at the phone. I just said not as good as you. Didn't even look. I didn't even know what she looked like. I didn't even know <laughs> if he was on the phone with a real girl. It just I didn't look. When I tell you I did not look, I just said it. And then she she got uh, mad at at the fact I'm guessing that he was around niggas because he didn't say it or something. And and then he thought that I fucked up him getting pussy. And so he was like, 
He got off the phone. Nah, man, why you have to say that? Blah, blah. I said, yo, calm down. All right, yo, chill out. You're doing a lot. Nah, man, you ain't even at the same thing, man. You fucked it up. I said, dog, chill, man. Because the thing is with me, I know how far I'm willing to take it, and I understand content creators. So I've had, I had to learn how to operate around content creators, you know what I'm saying, throughout my years of dealing with them. So I said, dog, chill, bro. And then he kept getting loud with me, and I was like, all right. I'm going to go upstairs and change, and I'm going to come back and fight you. That's exactly like, like <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Right. So I cause like I reached the point where it was like, yeah, all right, you you doing too much, you driven my pussy, fuck that, you gotta see me. So I ain't gonna lie, I got mad and I said straight up right there, I said, nigga, you can see me right now. Fuck is you talking about, bro? Like nigga, you getting loud and shit. I don't know who the fuck you think you getting loud with. I don't give a fuck how big you are or nothing like that. Cause you know he tall as shit too. Him and uh heavenly, they both like heavenly like six two, Minicon like six three, whatever the fuck. Minicon box and everything, but none of that shit mattered to me. No bullshit. You already know how shit is, bro. It's mm -hmm. on site, it's on you know what I'm saying? If it's on site, it's on site. So I'm like, yo, bro, stop playing with me. I don't know the type of nigga you think you dealing with, bro. But I see your ass right now. Like, bro, I don't sit there and say I beat a nigga ass. I don't know if I win. So I always say, I see you. You know what I'm saying? So I said, bro, you can, we could do this. I'm like, fuck is you talking about, nigga? Nobody here. Fuck you want to do? He said he good. I said, I bet. I went upstairs, changed, and ran back downstairs. Like, bro, you got to see. If you see the difference in my outfits, I took pictures at, uh, at uh, what is it, Exotica. I took pictures so you could see the difference in my outfits. I took pictures with pressure. He a porn star. I took picture with picture with pressure, and that was oh, my fighting was outfit. Like, I went upstairs, <laughs> I changed shoes, and took off all my jewelry and shit, watches, everything. Came back downstairs, ready to fight. Minicon left, so me and Heavenly start talking. While I'm talking to Heavenly, I'm trying to explain to him how, like, yo, I ain't mean to do that shit. I ain't know the nigga was gonna get mad at shit. Me and Heavenly cool, but like you just said, Heavenly do not know niggas and how to operate around niggas. Now look, it's, it's, you said you know what I'm saying you got a street pass. You know, put it like this. I'm not even gonna say anything. I just want to ask: If a nigga dapped you up with the left hand, what you doing? <laughs> dapped you up with the left hand? Mm hmm. Hmm. Unless that's his dominant hand, I don't know. It's, I, in Detroit, that's just gay. <laughs> I go just. I seen a nigga just, get shot over it, and I seen a nigga yeah, get punched in his face. Mainly, it's disrespectful. Look, it's disrespectful. <laughs> niggas it's never dap niggas up with the left. So, like the first time I seen it was um when a nigga I was with in my car. He in my passenger side, and my niggas, they in the back, is my nigga and his brother. And um, he kept disrespecting this nigga brother, and this nigga brother was like really, really like that. Both both of them like that, and he's not. So he over there just, and if he in the chat right now, he know, you know what I'm saying, nigga JD, because, you know what I'm saying, he already know what time it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I even had to beat that nigga ass. But this nigga, you know what I'm saying, he talking crazy to the nigga brother, and the nigga brother, when I tell you he really like that, bro, he fought eight security guards and told us, if we jump in, he going to fuck us up. He was crazy. They called him yeah. Taz. Yeah, he got killed too, just like his brother. But they they called him Taz because he was crazy. So mm -hmm. he talked crazy to him. My nigga City came over there, dapped this nigga up. I mean, he dapped me up like this, right? Through the mm -hmm. passenger seat. Like this, around this nigga face and everything. And then going to reach back like this and dap him up. So long as he dapped him up, he just boom, stole off on a nigga. And hit this nigga a few times. was like, get out the car. And the nigga was like, yo, he was scared to get out the car. I'm like, bro, you just a one-on-one. -on -one. Fight him. But he ain't want to do it, so because that that's that's the issue, right? Because I I grew up in De in Detroit, right? Like, I'm a Detroit nigga, falling wholeheartedly. I grew up on the East Side, Van Buren, Seventh Mile, that nature. And I I was you know, I was I was a street pharmacist. Let's put it put it like that. So I was out here, you know, I was unsuspecting. Drano, you know Taz? My bad. I just saw somebody in my chat say. Drano, go ahead, go you ahead. You know Taz? Now continue what you were saying. I'm listening. I just saw Drano say no. <laughs> do you really know Taz for real, City brother? Go ahead. But yeah, I was I was out here uh, doing street pharmacy stuff, and nobody suspects me, right? Because in Detroit, you don't fight, you don't fight, you brutalize. You have to maim them. That's what you have to do. Because they're not that they have to fear you. If they don't fear you, like oh, you ain't even do nothing to me last time. I got nothing broken. I'm good. You have to brutalize and maim them. If you don't, you lose. So I had to learn to go right nose, dig in the eye, wet willy in the ear, make it bleed. Like you gotta do everything. Like literally everything. That's what you gotta do in Detroit. But Getting off topic. <laughs> I mean, hey, boy, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Let's explain your experience. So, let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. This, I did. I know we we've been here for like ten minutes. This is Daquan Wiltshire, the Godfather, the the granddad, the uncle, the legend of all black anime on YouTube. Period. The hero of Dragon Ball Z. The reason 
Whoa. White people love anime and are black and can do it expressly openly. He is a main proprietor of how that happened. He might not even know it himself of how much of an influence he had on black people in Detroit, black people in Chicago, black people in Ohio. He is amazing. This is Daquan Wiltshire. Well, thank you. I appreciate that intro. God damn, bro. I'm not going to hold you. I thought RDC oh, probably put on more niggas than anime than me. But thank you, bro. I know I did put on a lot of niggas. I didn't know that, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about to where niggas are openly admitted. Like, a lot of motherfuckers thought that anime was, like, weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never thought it, anime was weird because I never cared. But it's just, like, I ain't going to be in the hallways trying to power up or trying to Naruto run and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't doing that. But like, yeah, bro. But in my house, I try to turn Super Saiyan. Nigga, fuck you talking about, nigga. You know how many times I done, nigga, I'm over there trying to power up and shit. You got, the game, you got the game fucked up, nigga. Of course, there was so many times I tried to do that shit, but I didn't know. But you know what I'm saying? But thank you for that intro, bro. I appreciate that. No problem. Uh, let me express the reason of why initially I needed to seek out you. Mm -hmm. You are the only one of your kind. Period. You, you are it. You the DSG. <laughs> Bro, because they're going to start saying I'm a monkey. Bro, you have to understand. No, I'm dead ass. Look, if you see my chat, they're going to start saying I'm a gorilla. Dead ass. Bro, you said my kind. You can't say that to them. The Please. niggas going to start saying. See? They're going to start attacking you. The black cat nigga, nigga, A nigga in the chat immediately said, ooh. Ah. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. They go, nigga said I'm Uzaru. That, nigga said I'm Caesar. Gorilla unit. <laughs> I told you, nigga. Like, this is what they doing right now. I, I, I knew they was going to do that, bro. That's oh, what they I'm immediately attacked you. Oh, God. You can't say that to DSG. You can't say that to DSG, bro. <laughs> they got you immediately. Yeah, not but DSG. You're, the, way, the way my brother phrased it, because my brother, see that whiteboard behind me right there? Yeah. My brother inspired me to get a whiteboard. Yeah, he had a chalkboard in the old living room when I used to live in the house. Yeah. He would express to me the dynamics of black content creators. You are in your own section. There's Caleb Stady, Lenar Young, Hardstop Lucas. They're in the same area. Long, Long, Long Beach Griffey and Trey Rags are in a subsection of that. Yeah. They're in subsections. And we have other people, RDC World. They do skits, but it's mainly proprietor anime. However, the first video I ever saw you was... Let me talk to y'all real quick. Yeah, let me holler at y'all real quick for a second. I love fucking fat bitches. I'm like, okay, hold yo, on. Yo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I was about to say I never said that. I said that so many times. But the thing is, it wasn't like, it was exactly like that. I can't even, okay, I can't yeah, it. it was exactly it was. like that. That is lit. like, bro, the most fucked up thing I think I said it was when I was like, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, fat bitches, they probably the most loyal bitches, bro. They'll do anything for you. Mm -hmm. That's, Aside that from was... getting abortion. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way that you gonna know I fuck for real. Because like the thing is, look, fat bitches will always try to tell everybody you fucked them, and that's the thing. You say, for instance, tell me if I'm lying. Yo, you mean to tell me a bad bitch going to let everybody know you hit? She trying to let no. everybody, but that fat bitch gonna let everybody know. Definitely if she ugly. Oh my god, don't let her be ugly and fat. That's a double homicide. Oh. She gonna let everybody know you hit. And she keeping that baby. If she fat and ugly, oh my god! You seen them Wendy Williams type built type bitches? They always gonna keep the baby. You don't. They don't, they don't even know they pregnant. They don't I'm even trying, know they pregnant. And you no no no. They gonna know. Oh no, they know because they be wanting to make sure they gonna retain that dick that they got. So they gonna no. make sure they they gonna they gonna know in six weeks. They gonna know in five weeks. You know no, what they I'm gonna know. But see, that's the issue. You, you see, a black dude gonna be like, "Oh, you look the same." They be like, "Oh man, you can't couldn't even tell you was pregnant." Boom, you messed up. <laughs> no, no, I had to deal with it, so I can't even. Oh, it. oh, you you had to deal. Yeah, I've been Damn. there, bro. I've been, you gotta understand, I had two kids nine months apart. I've been there. I've been there, bro. Yeah, nine so months apart is even, crazy. I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Say that. So it's real shit, you know what I'm saying? But but them big joints, they definitely gonna keep that baby. That's the thing, you know what I'm And they gonna let people know that you hit. Like, bro, I hate that my baby mom even named my son after me. Like, uh, the, I, I hate that she gave him my name, like my, the Wilshire. I I thought, like, I. I thought she was going to have her name because like, I didn't claim the nigga, right? But it wasn't like I was like, I don't want to claim him. I didn't, but it was not, it's not like I don't want to claim this kid specifically. It's like, yo, why she did that? You know what I'm saying? She ain't have to keep him. Because like, if it was my body and my choice, come on, like, let's be real here. Yeah, I, on, on, a, you know, on a realistic note, I, I ain't going to hold you. I got a vasectomy. I got a vasectomy. How like, are you? I'm 27. And you got a vasectomy already? Let, I'm going to explain why. I'm going to explain why. I'm going to give you a little bit of lore right quick, a little bit of background. When I was 18... I just beat cancer. Just beat leukemia. I was so happy. I was like, boom, beat leukemia. I'm out here. Went Congrats right back in the selling. Thank you. Thank you. That was tough as hell. I was, I was about to die. I was like, well, this is it. This is karma. I went right back. <laughs> I went. I thought it was karma. I was. I ain't going to hold you. I was I was on a blue team, street pharmacist. I was doing crazy stuff. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. So after that, ended up, uh, my mom was like, you need to stop selling. And I said, well, mother, go to hell. And I, she didn't give She was like, all right, you getting kicked out. <laughs> 
So I got kicked out. I gave her twenty thousand dollars and she kicked me out. I gave her twenty thousand kicked and she kicked me out. Right. Nigga, let, let me hold my fifty dollars till the next Thursday. <laughs> bro, y'all niggas can't just keep coming up with these red ass numbers, bro. Like nigga, I ain't say nothing over five dollars since I started the stream. Nigga, fuck you talking about nigga said twenty thousand. Let a nigga yeah. hold my fifty dollars the next Thursday. The fuck? <laughs> bro, you? you act like I ain't a nigga. I ain't heavenly. I'm a nigga for real. <laughs> No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. They, but it was, I, I got kicked out, right? So I was broke. I, I gave her my money because I, I love my mom. I love her to death. Like, I'm my mom. So I was like, here go my money. Don't, I said, don't hit me up ever because you kicked me out. Remember that. And she said, what? If I, I said, remember stream, that. You do the same? Huh? If I kick if you out the stream, you'll do the same? No, no, no. If you, you, you just, you just, you just one up me. You was like, I got a bag from this boy. I'm out of here. You can do what you want to. I, no, no. I'm just saying, like, bro, you said it. Like you gave her twenty thousand, and she was kicking you out. Like I'm just saying, like, I'm bro. weak. Cause like I can end this motherfucker real. Like bro, it, it's a disconnect button right here on Discord. Like, I can do that. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. My nigga, twenty thousand. I ain't got twenty k on me right now. Nigga, All right, but you got fifty. Let a nigga hold. I just said fifty it, till next Thursday, bro. It ain't not a Valentine's Day in two days. I don't know what my wife about to do. <laughs> hold on, is she is is she ninety years old? No, my wife is upstairs. She's twenty four. Okay, my wife I'm is making sure. I'm just making sure, bro, because the ninety year old is crazy. Like, hey, we're we're gonna get to. I'm gonna explain the lawyer to that because when I, I got kicked out, I fucked the grandma. But she it's was, it's yeah, she was about fifty. It's different. Know. It's different. Ninety but, years old is crazy. Well, okay, let me explain what's happening. Let me explain what's happening. I go, I go through right. Um, I'm homeless. I'm living on. I'm living behind the Amish bakery. That's understandable immediately. I already know. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Homosexual. So, yeah. I'm. I go to Toledo, Ohio, because that's like an hour away from me. Because it's easier to live in Toledo. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a hospital called ProMedica. I'm in ProMedica, talking to old people, learning their life, taking their pills and food, bathing in their showers. You know, acting like I'm their grandson and stuff. And you know, there's no visiting hours realistically if you're a family member. So I, I made this woman named Margaret. Margaret. She's Asian and white. And you sound old, Margaret. Bro, you had to moan, Margaret. You had to moan that, bro. I ain't, I ain't, mo I ain't moan nothing. Nah, because we went through my stream before, and it was like certain moanable names. And it's like, I ain't moaning Margaret. I ain't moaning no Gretchen. I ain't moaning, you know what I'm saying, old ass names. And you had to moan Margaret. I, I couldn't do that. Continue. Uh, so, <laughs> Margaret, she tells me how her grandchildren are torturing her. There's a reason she's in the hospital. They're trying to poison her, get her out the game because she's healthy. She's working out. She's like fit as hell. She's like a fit old woman, like barely any loose skin. She's fit as hell. And I noticed she's packing an Amish bakery on her dump trunk. It's nuts. It's like a hostess cake back there. I'm like, golly, G Willikers, dude. I'm going sicko mode. So I'm like, woo wee. What's up? <laughs> G Willikers. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I, I, I hear you. Had to, had to hit it with a 1930s slang on that one. So <laughs> she was, I, hey, she from that era. So I feel that. All right. So, and this is, this is how I blew up on TikTok. I just explained what happened. I explained we were married for two months. Um, I, I, I told the story the first time. I didn't include all the details. 1.9 million views in the first hour, right? And that was nuts to me, right? But I had, I'd already been big on YouTube before, before I got banned one time on YouTube, One Piece YouTube. I got banned on One Piece YouTube. But now, your TikTok a different game. Everybody's sending me messages, crazy death threats, things of that variety. It's nuts. I'm like, why are you sending me death threats? This is new. So then this got me thinking. I got hit up by uh, Chris Delia. No, Matt Delia, Matt Delia, Matt Delia. He hit, hit me up for a podcast about that. So that's when I decided, why is it so difficult for me as a black creator to not have to be performative? So now I, I need to speak to every black creator. I've spoken to Inferno Omni. I've spoken to FD Signifier. Um, and I need to speak to all of them. I need to speak to Caleb City. I need to speak to Hearthstyle. I need to speak to everybody. I need to, to learn. One of the biggest consecrators, Bitchless D Ace. You <laughs> bitchless D Ace. Yes, you got to speak to him. That's a real who nigga, is, bro. Who everybody, is Bitchless D Ace? Yo, yo, that's the realest nigga. When I tell you, bro, look, everybody in my chat, what what we hold, what we. <laughs> What do we hold me accountable for, bro? No, what do we hold women accountable for, bro? My whole chat to tell you. What do we what nah, do you, you gotta watch that stream, bro? What do we hold women accountable for? This nigga, bro, this nigga got on my stream. He 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 a neon. Do you know what a neon? You know what a neon is? Like, yeah, I know what a neon is, yeah. Yeah, he a neon. And like this nigga got on there and was so mad the fact that women like me. So he was like, you know what I hold them accountable for? Sleeping with the nick. Whoa. Sleeping with someone like you—that's what I hold them accountable for. And the nigga was like, 
I know he wanted to call me the hard R. That nigga definitely wanted to, bro. I know he didn't. It's like, bro, you black. You know what I'm saying? But you got to watch that shit. I, I send it to you when we get off the stream. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my goal, that's, that's psychotic. My goal with this, my goal with just this speaking to you in general yeah. is to get your thought process on what it takes to not only be a content creator, but specifically a black content creator. Because what I've realized, I have never seen Ludwig collab with a black person. <laughs> bro, you made me spit my wine out, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, don't, you can't just do that. Bro. What the fuck? They can tell, bro. What the fuck? You can't just say that out of nowhere. <laughs> Nigga, that was have so you? Random. Chill, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> you got to tell me when you're going to say something like that. I just have you. I've never seen it. Like I, I think I'll he give, knows Kai. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Yeah, he knows of Kai. He doesn't know Kai. He knows of Kai. Dog, I can't believe you just said that, bro. Dog, am you, I wrong though? You're not lying, but I'm just saying, like, you ain't have to say it like that. God damn, not while I'm drinking. <laughs> no, because because this this is this is why I've noticed this, right? Uh. The, the only person I respect right now, and it's a, it's a big reason why it's a, it's a small reason why I pay my nails, right? I pay my, I pay my nails because of Prince. I love Prince. Prince is my is my icon. I love Prince. He got Prince mad was straight as hundred percent. That brother was homo. He was what was it homophobic and gay at the same time. I was like, how did you do that? That's I, impossible. I, I I know this girl who uh, um her mom got knocked down by Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Not for us. She really did like that ass. She got pictures with the nigga and everything. Like yeah, she she was on tour with the nigga getting slayed. And it's it's this dichotomy because the only one I respect, Moist Critical, right? Mm. Moist Critical, collab with Syriacs. I didn't see that coming. That caught me off guard. I was like, what the hell, boys? And that was my first guess. I was like, okay, why did he collab with Syriacs? There has to be a bigger reason. Syriacs is lighter skin. That's one thing. And he already associates with people like Dado Doya, who's white, and Rhyme Style, who's white. So I'm like, why has why why don't I see like Corey Kenshin and Markiplier? Why don't I see that? They're both big gaming people. Why don't I see that? What 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 is that? And I discovered that I need to find some way to breach in. I need to find some way to breach in because the world has this perception. Because you you got out of the hood at eight, right? Eight years old, right? You stuck eight. I got out at like twenty two. <laughs> But I don't look like I got out at 22. I look like I've never even been in the hood. I got a big, colorful afro. My nails are painted. I got a kimono on. Yeah, you got I got the red frizzle fro. I'm not gonna hold you for uh, the magic school bus. You know what's going on? Yeah, magic right. school bus. That's people look at me and they're just like, "Oh, there's no way he knows anything about niggas." But I have done such. I've stolen copper from houses. I have done horrifying things. I'm a Detroit nigga first, and everything else second. I feel that. Pe like that's that's the issue and i need to, i want to break this barrier so as a black content creator how do do you think it's more difficult what is, what is your perception as a black content creator do you think it's more difficult to grow i think as a black content creator they focus more so on the attention that we receive in order to collab with us i'll tell you that like you see a lot of people uh they collab with rdc world mm mhm but that's because of the attention they receive, the the clout and stuff that they have. Uh, I don't think a lot of people want to work with smaller black creators, but you have to think about it. There's a divide in our community, you know what I'm saying, as it is. We don't even want to work with black creators. Like, what we do, what I mean is- No, like, you're, you're right, you're right. See, a lot of black creators don't even collab with each other. Because beforehand, you know how I hit up first? I hit up, I hit up this person called the Ninth Divine. He's a Skyrim content creator. He has half a million subscribers. He hit me up. And then out of nowhere, his YouTube channel uh, went through some flack for some racist comments he made. I'm like, well, he was going to do a collab with me. I was, I could have cleared those allegations lickety split. Nope. Straight up. He was like, nah. And it was, it was insane. I was like, wow. And then everybody started ousting him. I tried to hit up somebody else, another white creator. Minecraft dude. Didn't work. Another commentary channel. White dude. Didn't work. First black person I hit up. Cloudy McDoom. Love Cloudy McDoom. Cloudy McDoom makes amazing Final Fantasy skit content. He is much bigger than me. I had like two subscribers. He said, sure. And that's when I only started hitting up black people. That's it. I just like, no, what? Screw it. I'm only going to hit up black people. I'm sick of this. That's it. Well, the thing is, um, as a creator myself, right, I got a lot of black creators reaching out to me when I was at my peak as far as content creation. You know what I'm saying? When my channel was constantly growing, I'm getting invited to conventions and things like that. And um, once I 
wasn't as consistent and my views, you know, kind of went down and things like that. And um, my clout, you know, wasn't what it used to be. Bro, that, every, I realized that a lot of these relationships are clout-based relationships. You feel me? And like I said, bro, definitely with white creators, say friends, Logan Paul is not going to get me on there. Logan Paul ain't going to get you on there. You feel me? Like Logan Paul needs somebody who's pulling in KSI type views. You feel me? Kai, Kai Sinet. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But but that's black creators also. You feel me? Like what black like say for instance, my community always commends me for the fact that whenever I try to play games or do anything, everything is always with my community. I don't try to reach out to other people. I don't care about, you know what I'm saying, interacting with other people. I care about interacting with my community and growing my community the way I am because I like to be, you know what I'm saying, like really personal with them. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of creators, they don't want to do that. But most of these relationships, like I said, are all clout based. Say for instance, look at the people who are like at the top, say for instance, with Bruce, Rage, and Kai, when they had their, uh, what is it, boys night. They had boys night. Bro, they found out Bruce dropped him off was a weird ass nigga talking shit about them behind <laughs> their back. Why? And then also I've seen a couple of tweets, you know what I'm saying, from a few of these creators that it's like, damn, bro, do you actually fuck with the person that you say you actually fuck with, bro? Or are you secretly hating on them? I don't get it about like us in the black community, why we are so quick to tear each other down. We come together quick to tear each other down. But in order to build each other up, it's hard. We have to... Oh, I know the reason now. I figured it out. What is it? I went to college for four years. I have a human science degree. And when I discovered, on a third year of college, I met this Asian guy. Asian dude named Sok Jinwoo. Sok Jinwoo was an amazing Korean dude. His father, Gun Park, I hung out with him a lot. Great guys, right? His name is Gun he Park? Gun Park, yes, yeah, that's literally his name. Gun Park, his dad's name is Gun Park. Yes. Yeah, oh, no, I'm not joking. Never mind, never mind. My bad. I'm not even going. I'm not going. <laughs> that's, to a, that's a tough name. I was like, I was like, and Gun Park explained to me because he he's a genius. This guy's a genius. He said, when when humans were younger, our natural instinct we have to pay attention to negative traits till we got to learn how to survive. Black people have to work twice as hard for half as much, so that means you're four times better with chitlins. That's pig intestines. That's garbage. But bro, it's it, it was with the chitlins. This thing is said four times better with chitlins. Like, bro, you didn't even pause or anything. So we're four times better with chitlins. What the fuck? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. So, so we're four times better. But the chitlins, right? Chitlins were pig intestines scraps. Whenever we received scraps, we made it amazing. That's because we learned from struggle. So we have to be hard on each other because the more brutal we are to each other, that's how we got Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's dad was a horrible person. Michael Jackson is one of, is the greatest artist of all time. Facts. Period. Facts. That is that is an insane thing to say, but he had no childhood because he had to skip that to be the greatest. Yes. Mike Tyson is one of the most pivotal boxers. May not be the greatest, but he's one of the most pivotal. Muhammad Ali might have that title, but he's one of the most pivotal explosive boxers because he came from struggles and for some reason a love of pigeons i don't know what that's about i really don't know what that's about i have no clue what that's going on with that okay <laughs> but that is how black people operate so when we tear each other down we do that as a survival instinct that's why we're so good at roasting it's a black trait to roast that's a black thing that's a thing we we need to do this to become greater than before because we make up such a small percentage of population but our accolades are insane. Most basketball players, black. Most football players, black. Best fighter, John Jones, black. That's that's the thing. We have to exceed because when we become the exception, when we become this Kai Sinats, that is when they pay attention. Before that's when they, they care. Weathers, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when they care. Yeah, nah, you're not lying. Um, it, but the thing is, um, okay, because someone in my chat did say this. Hmm? Do you think that it's with most creators in general regardless of race to where people would rather you know what i'm saying collab with people who are you know also on the same level as far as uh content creation views and things like that you know what i'm saying or do you think that it it's do you think it's more more so race based or do you think it's clout based it's definitely it's a combination of both it's more race based do you think cuz i've seen for some reason i've seen white content creators collab with somebody that had 10,000 that's a woman that's pretty this is white. I have not seen a bigger commentary channel collab with a black commentary channel that's a woman. That's beautiful. I haven't seen that. I've seen a light skin once. I've seen a light skin once. One light skin. I've seen it once. I think the reason being is, look at the screen right now. Two niggas on the screen. 
white guy comes here, he's gonna be like, I can't relate to this. It's two niggas. Can't relate. There's no relatability there. Asian person comes on stream. Okay, at least the skin's white. I can I can appreciate that. Offline TV happens. Ludwig gets on. Ludwig looks like a conventionally attractive white dude. I can relate. People can relate to that. Majority of America's that color. That's why. Well, well I, I I would like to say I think it's because I think it um, I think the way we act kind of determines that. Like say for instance, mm -hmm. a lot of people think that all black streamers just yell because of Kai. They think that's all we do to be funny. Like with me, yeah. I tell people all the time while I'm streaming, I'm like, yo, for the most part, I'm talking like this. And I make people laugh just like this. Because I'm a comedian, though. I know how to crap jokes and things like that. But, like, people think that, you know what I'm saying, we're all just loud, eccentric people. You know what I'm saying? Think about this, bro. Whenever you think of a black streamer, what are you thinking of? Somebody, oh, let's go. What's up, speed? Like, immediately. Like, that's ridiculous. You know that's what I'm saying? Loud. Poppycock. Ignorant. Doing, doing dumb shit. Just to be able to, you know what I'm saying, uh, garner an audience. When we think of mm. white creators, look at, okay, compare the top black creators to the top white creators. Look mm. at the difference in their behaviors. Notice you keep mm. bringing up Ludwig. What black content creator as far as streamers that we can compare to Ludwig? None. Not not a one. Not not a single one. Not one. Not but, one. But Jinxie and Kai are alike. Jinxie and Kai are alike, but that's it. Yeah. I don't know anybody. Like, say, for instance, Aiden Ross... I don't know any black content, but so, no speed. Speed is like Aiden Ross, as far as all of the gay shit and all the other shit and everything like that. Yeah, the wild shit. But to to be fair, this is gonna sound crazy. Majority of people, this is gonna sound nuts. Mm -hmm. Thought Aiden Ross was black. I don't know what happened. He's I, 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 weird. What the hell? In that crate, not not even. It's just the name in itself. They thought that he was a light skinned black, like a Drake situation, like a Peter Hernandez, Bruno Mars situation. I was like, what, bro? That's like saying my black ass, like like you you heard a nigga named Daquan and you thought the nigga was Asian. Nigga, ain't no way. Hey, if I had a nigga named Aiden Ross, I'm going to think of a whole white nigga. I'm not thinking of anything else but a white nigga, bro. Aiden Ross? Well, th well think about it like this. What race is Bruno Mars? <laughs> Don't even know, do you? No, I no, 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 no idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that nigga a couple things, bro. He looked like he Hawaiian, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? What are you, Hawaiian or something? What the fuck is that nigga, bro? It's He's Hawaiian, Puerto Rican, and Jewish. You see, I knew that though. I knew he's Hawaiian. <laughs> yeah, you, you knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's Filipino too, but like it's it's like a it's like a mix. But when you hear Bruno Mars and see Bruno Mars, they're like, oh, heck. like what? that's that's the first thing that comes to their mind. When you see Aiden Ross is collabing with Kai Sinat, you see Aiden Ross, Kai Sinat, E Day. You immediately think, okay, black people. Like that's like Speed, Aiden Ross, Kai. You hear those three names, you're thinking like, okay, contemporary, black. black. Ignorance, and, and it's the sad thing. Why do I think that? Mm. I hate that. Yeah. I hate yeah. the fact that I think that. Like, it's but no, it's because the collaboration with Aiden Ross is Speed. It's not Casanet. Whenever I think of Casanet, I'm not thinking of ignorance. I'm thinking more so excellence. I'm not thinking of ignorance. When I think of Speed, definitely ignorance. I Like with Speed, I salute him. You know what I'm saying? To congratulate him on his success. His success. But at the same time, it's like, he is extremely ignorant. Like the things he does, it's like I I don't think it's good for the black community as far as like I don't want oh. children growing up and watching him. No, Bro, it, it is not. Where he's doing this, talking about sucking a dick, and he's supposed to be a heterosexual male. The thing is, I don't I don't mind if you're gay, right? Say for instance, some dude in my chat, right? This dude named Daniel came in my chat and, and uh, he was uh, he he was there for like twenty minutes and then told us that he gets coked up and has a whole bunch of gay orgies every weekend. And I was like, yo, that's what's up, though, because you gay. But it's like, <laughs> why, why is Speed talking about he'd suck a dick when that's not what he on for real? Well, I don't know, though, because he did. I, I don't know if he did some of the, the Ava joint. And that well, it's, it's this is this is a little bit of black history, too. It's the Tyler Perry effect. Uh, it, it, the Tyler Perry effect, when, we, when he came out as Medea. Came out. People. <laughs> yeah, that's came crazy. out. Yeah, you, I'm, I'm being that's realistic. Yeah, no, nah, I understand. It, Cause Tyler Perry to me is a closeted drag queen. That's what he feels like to me. That's what he. That's what he appears to be. He is a straight man. Tyler Perry is a holy straight man that loves dressed like a woman. Loves I think, it. I think the blame it on Quay dude does the same thing on Instagram. Blame it on Quay. Mm. He's 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 acted in that character for far too long. It's like at some point you're gonna start developing those types of traits. You will. 
Like, think about it, bro. If you if you in the street too long, you gonna be a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. It don't matter how you grew up. You see how you are right now, but you, at the end of the day, you still got the street mentality, right? That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. This nigga, he played gay for so long, or played a black woman for so long. You gonna start developing traits. Like, say for instance, the nigga might be in the middle of a conversation, getting mad, he start clapping like black women would. It's like, bro, that's what black women. That's black woman activity. Calm your 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 ass down. Use a whole nigga, but yeah, because there's two different classes. There's this. Which is nigga, niggas do this like what the fuck you mean, bro? What's going on? Every like they press you. This, like it's like the nails, bro. It's, they throw. Me okay, you you right, you right. Know what's going? On. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nah. All right. That that that, that this better. This this better. This yeah. Better. You know what I'm saying? You could just be like yo, they like yeah, you know, man. <laughs> I'm bullshitting, bro. But, Go ahead, bro. <laughs> but that's 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 the issue here, and and this is this is where you come in so perfectly with this whole thing, because you have found somehow. The perfect balance of, because you you are in essence what I would consider a DBZ nigga. Mm-hmm. Of that course. that is, yeah, and that is perfect for every black person. Because no matter what kind of black person you are, every black person and every for some reason Mexican person is a DBZ nigga. Period. Because Saiyans, in essence, Goku's entire character arc start off like this. Start off as a kid, he was a little guy beating up big dudes. He beat the demon. That's the Christian mythos right there. He beat Demon King Piccolo. Most black people relate to Christianity. You beat a demon, they love you. That's the first step. But most people didn't see Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z comes in. Fighting your brother. Black on black violence. Raditz immediately. Boom. That's black. After that, what happened? Hotep nigga comes in. Vegeta. Vegeta comes in, and with his bald-headed black dude, the Terry Crews, Same the guy. big bald-headed black dude, the Terry Crews comes in, boom, Nappa. After that, it's black-on-black violence. But Vegeta reveals that we should stop fighting each other because the real demon is bigger than us. Freeza. This is a thought-provoking conversation. <laughs> I've never thought about it like this. When I tell you there's not a single thought in my mind that ever thought like that, like, I'm not going to lie, I've always said Saiyans are black, but I never thought about it like black-on-black violence or anything like that, and the fact that... <laughs> Our kind are against each other and think god damn bro that's why vegeta was so ex- he was like i don't care about my whole race being destroyed because i'm the exception will smith doesn't care about black people want to know why because will smith is the exception if you a bigger he, he doesn't he, care he kinda whitewashed at this point Exa- exactly he got whitewashed by frieza boom that's that's why dragon ball z intrinsically subconsciously black people don't even know how deeply Dragon Ball Z relates to us because after Frieza, we beat we beat the oppressor. We've we've beyond that. We've we've accepted our true nature and become calm and angry at the same time. That's hip hop. That's that's Wu Tang Clan. Thoughtless movement. That's perfection. That's amazing. And then after that, what did Goku do? He beat his trauma. Cell. He beat his trauma. Red Ribbon Army, but he didn't truly beat his trauma. His son destroyed all that generational trauma. That's why people love Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Because Gohan defeated all of Goku's trauma, culminated in the one being, and that's why people love him so deeply. Father, son. Black dads, barely there for their kids. But father, son, Kamehameha. Boom. What the fuck? Yo, 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 what the fuck? Yo, this nigga, yo, yo, chill, what the hell? Making me rethink the whole Dragon Ball Z right now. <laughs> I'm over here trying to figure out what the fuck is Majin Buu and all everybody. What was Cell? Like, bro, dog, this is crazy. I always thought Piccolo was the nigga, but like, it's like, dog, you. I'm not gonna lie, the, the nigga. The fact that Goku was it. First of all, Goku still was a good father, but it was like he just wasn't there. Yeah, he still was a good father, but he just. Wasn't he was there. a great dad. He was a great dad, but he was a and great all dad. For all for violence. Mm-hmm. That's, like, bro, regardless of everybody saying, yo, Goku just likes to train. He wants to just fight stronger opponents. He's all for violence. That's literally violence. Just fighting. This is crazy. I never thought about it like this. Most people don't because when you when you get a, when you get a message, you, you're probably watching it like, man, Goku got hands. He's amazing. But Goku was our dad. Because sometimes my, my dad, for the most part, long time wasn't there. I had Goku. Goku was a powerful person. And then when he trained with Gohan in the highball at Time Chamber, he was patient and taught him. I have never got that courtesy from my black dad ever. When I saw that patience and him teaching him, I was like, Goku is him. I love Goku. He's the greatest character of all time. I don't care about the fights at this point. He's That was my favorite arc. Cell, Cell in the High Black Time Chamber, that was amazing. And the ego of black men. Vegeta represents the ego of black men. He represents it deeply. Because that ego, that pride, 
where you don't shake to anything. That is the essence of his character. That's why in Super Saiyan 3, his eyebrows go down because we're we are related to the Ozaru. The gorilla, that's what happens. People calling you gorilla and chat, stuff like that. That's... I was about to say, they're going to do it now. As soon as yeah, they do it. they definitely that's about to start calling me all types of gorillas. <laughs> we got his ass. <laughs> nah, bro, this is crazy. First of all, like, my parents are crackheads. You know what I'm saying? So, like, them, you know what I'm saying? They, they you know what I'm saying? They, it, was, it was a little early. And I got raised on survival. That's one thing I don't like about the black community. Like, a lot of us were raised on survival. We don't even know how to love properly. You know what I'm saying? Because of things like that. Another thing I think that uh, is a detriment to us. Bro, I don't know if you've dealt with this. You know what I'm saying? And you let me know. Have you, um, had parents that told you don't speak unless you're spoken to? Yes. How has that affected yes. you? Because I'm, uh, let me just uh, just tell you how it affected me. Bro, it's very hard for me to even speak to people that I know in public because it's like you didn't address me first, so I don't do it. How do you feel about it's, that? I, I almost cannot do it because it, it started early. I have, to, I, I have to put on a mask sometimes to be almost like an ego-driven God complex. That's why my name is Cyril's The God. That name in itself is to represent that I need to be above what I think I am. I, need to, I don't care what I'm going to be tomorrow, but today I'm going to be amazing. That's all I got to do. And every time I, someone speaks to me, and I, I, I'm, I'm excited because, cool, I don't approach. That's the issue. I had to learn this. That's the hard part. It's, it's, it's terrifying. Yeah, that's one of the things that I don't like, you know what I'm saying, the way I was, you know what I'm saying, the way I was raised, and then also being raised on survival, right? My parents aren't there. It was basically, yo, while you're at the house, Figure it out as far as food and everything like that. We're at work. We got to work. That's it. When we come back home, you have to be good as far as your behavior just because you're supposed to be. Your grades, be, you know what I'm saying? Get good grades just because that's what we want you to do. You're not ever getting rewarded or anything like that. It's literally just, and then by the time you're able to make money, you go and figure it out on your own then. Like like I said, with my parents, it wasn't like, I mean, my, my aunt and uncle, because I was raised by them, it wasn't like I was, um, I'm saying, raised as far as, Oh, you got a job now. You can take care of yourself. It was you able to make money. Yo, you can shovel driveways. You can figure it out. That's what I was doing. Like during the summer, I was just figuring out ways to make money and shit like that. You feel me? And I was stealing candy, selling that shit. I'll be. I was making like a hundred dollars a day off of candy, bro. But I was stealing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why that's why I got into I, when I, I got jumped in when I was twelve. Twelve years old is when I got jumped in, and. As soon the first day they said, I'm not "Take this to laugh zip." At you. A nigga in my chat said, "Gorilla Ball Z." My bad, bro. I just read. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, someone said, "Apes stick together." I was trying not laugh. That shit caught me off guard. I was like, "I was trying because I didn't want you to think I was laughing at you. I wasn't." It's no, like, no, it's, it's funny. I'm reading it too. It's funny as hell. <laughs> but I was I was 12 years old. I got I got put into the game. Yeah. And I see this 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 five year old, five year old, this little dude, and this is gonna sound psychotic. Just hear me out. Five year old had a teardrop tattoo. In Detroit. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what? Yeah, Tafiver, his name is Lil Bop. I believe Lil Bop, greatest black man on the planet. At five years old, there's still the greatest black man I've ever met. He said, when he, I, was in, I was in the game for like two years now, seven years old, he was stealing something from the store at seven, and a white guy stopped him. white guy said, hey, you can't be stealing that. And he said, I'm not privileged like you, and walked away. And then, white dude grabbed him again and said, hey, you can't do that. He said, oh, nah, let me explain something to you. You got privilege. See, privilege is not, and he, and he looked at him like he was Malcolm X, and he, it felt like he, he was looking down on him when he said this. Privilege is not the abundance of opportunity, it is the absence of obstacles. And I said, that is the greatest thing I've ever, I heard that from a seven, a little, little, but a small, I was like, oh, he is not lying. I was like, What? And he said it again later. There was another time we said that he was like, I was like, I was like his, his phrase. He said it again when he was like, he was like twelve, and I was older. But man, that is the same. That's an insane thing. The reason why that resonates with me is because I was living in this neighborhood, right? So when we uh when we first moved from New York to uh to 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 Virginia, we moved to Quantico, my aunt and uncle. They had a small house, right? And um they had enough to be able to pay for it. I think it was paid for, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember if I don't really know, but um. I just know that they had enough to be able to do shit with us, but that was only happened for two years. About a year and a half to two years. Then we moved to a bigger neighborhood, right? Um, big house, but at the end, not big. It just like to me that was big. I ain't gonna lie, me that was like I was like damn. But at the um at like on on my same street, we had these two white people. I had um this this person named Nick that I was cool with, and then uh, these dudes named Brandon and Justin. We still living on the same block, but the reason why I saw that that um that the 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 absence of uh of of say it again absence of 
Privilege is the uh, not the absence of obstacles, but the abundance of opportunity. The abundance of opportunity, things like that, right? So look, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. And on where I was at, right. I was athletic, but guess what? Mm. The people down my street, they were able to pay to go into sports and things like that. I didn't. My parents didn't have the money. You feel me? But it was like, yo, these people, they're trying to get their kids to learn how to play baseball. I was good as hell at baseball. Nigga, I didn't know how to play that shit like that. But it was like, for some reason, I was just naturally gifted at it. But I couldn't do it because I didn't have the opportunity. You feel me? That they did. So I could definitely, like shit like that, I can I can definitely relate with. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, bro, I got to see that shit firsthand. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, so, it's, it's, it's such a strange dichotomy to see. And to, to just to, just to, if people on my chat saying this, I did talk about the little Bob story before. He... <laughs> I don't remember exact ages, little nigga. I remember little nigga was young. That's all I remember the most. He was a young little nigga, and I remember I was confused why this fucking toddler was rocking around with niggas. I don't know what was going on. But th this is the issue here. As a black content creator, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is my most hated thing of all time. You, we cannot. We're not allowed to be calm. What do you mean? Th we're not allowed to be. When, when everything black people do has to be explosive. It has to be. When it comes to making it big, Afro Sinju has to be explosive. Go ahead. As far as the character, your character mm -hmm. has to be explosive or your uh your like your content, uh like the reach. The, the content. Like when when you think of calm black people, you think like Morgan Freeman. Well no, well so so the thing is, well, I can't say I started off just necessarily being calm, right? But I I didn't know how to really craft my jokes or anything like that. I started off just with comedy because that's what I've always done. When I started off t telling stories, it was mo ah damn. Now I'm about to just prove you right. No, because it's like no, go so ahead. I, no, but I started off <laughs> getting views only because it was like, who is he? And then I did blow up when I got to the I told now. Damn, you not like so it's like yeah. No, yes. I was just about to prove you right. Never mind. Shit. It's 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 a sad reality damn. because we're not marketable we me and you we're not marketable but sadly because of this hair this hair this this is go, super saiyan red this is super saiyan god super that's, saiyan blue that's Ms. alter Fred. ego alter ego this is all three for dragon ball z this is all dragon ball z inspired on top and when i when i did this hair people were like oh that's gojo reverse blue no this is super this is dragon ball z this is super this is dragon ball super nobody called you miss frizzle <laughs> no nobody you're the first person actually oh, all right all right <laughs> yeah but it was it was it was such a psychotic thing, and I started talking about my life. Yeah. I, every Detroit nigga I know has lived a life just as wild as mine. I lived in Amish country. I married a ninety year old woman. I was trapped in Thailand. What's mad, up? Hold on, mad niggas in Detroit, fucking ninety year old bitches. Yes. No, no, no. Cause like I, 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 I only knocked off a fifty four year old bitch because a nigga trolled me. So it was like, yo, I had to fuck somebody in his family, and I found his grandma. So and it was like if I could have found somebody else, I would have. But it's like I found his grandma, and plus you can't really come back from that. Why are y'all knocking down ninety year old bitches? Let me explain something. There's this guy on um he lives he lives on Jefferson. His name is Zippo. Zippo is gay. Zippo is thirty two. If a Zippo's actually bisexual, actually. If if a girl leaves him, he's sleeping with her dad. Zippo yo, okay, yo, is a yo, it, yo, zip, yo, yo, yo. Yo, yeah. Yo, my niggas, yo, you gotta slow this down. What the fuck? Did you, you just, it's like you, nigga, yo, you started off here and just, like, you just, uh, what the fuck? Bro, yeah. my nigga, I, no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slow that down. You can't just say that. You gotta, you gotta kind of ease me into, no homo, you gotta kind of ease me into <laughs> that. You gotta be like, yo, so look, right, I'm about to tell you about this one nigga, you know what I'm saying, knocked off this girl dad and shit, and it's like, yo, what do you mean by knocked off? Like, you know what I'm saying, you in Detroit, you, 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 you killed him? Nah, he fucked him. You kind of got to use me to it like that. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, there, that was crazy. An, the way you just did and that. Because that. that's a normal, everybody, most people know Zippo. They're like, oh, that's Zippo, normal. yeah. Yeah, people, people are like, oh, that's Zippo. Yeah, he on grinder, bro. He be, he be chasing down, uh, he be chasing down, uh, non-women. What's a non-woman? A trans. He be chasing them down. What? Say, what is a non-woman? Like, that's that's people people in Detroit. Black people are the like homophobic. older black people are They're the homophobic. most homophobic. Yeah. Oh my god, insanely so. It's crazy. And you know, they'll think the street of, street niggas. Yeah, definitely homophobic. Street street, yeah. street niggas will sleep with each other and still be homophobic. Uh, it's crazy. This is yo. You remember we on Twitch? Just to let you know. So I'm like, just, I'm, no, I'm just saying because like no, no, no. We good right now. It's just that I just know how easy a, this can go left. This I'm aware. I'm aware. So I, we TOS. I know. I know. I'm just. 
I'm just saying, like, I'm like, okay. Because I know a dude who came out of jail, right? Pfft, not fruity at all. You already know, you already know where it's going. You already know where it's going. Yep. He came out, <laughs> came out of jail, 23 years old. He was like, and he, he, was, he was a vice lord. Vice lord. He comes out. He's like, all right. He comes out. Immediately, he just started hitting people. Boom. Just, I was like, oh, he was like, mm, just cracking people. I was like, yo. No. He was like, all right, here's what we about to do. Each and other. he explained. Never mind, <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> he he was like, we're gonna have this party. We are gonna get the women. I need I need a girl. And he's like, cool. He organized this whole setup. Get everybody all liquored up and stuff like that. He slept with five dudes that night. Yo, nigga, this is what I mean, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you can't just do that. Stop <laughs> doing that, bro. Nigga, you like, what the fuck? Nigga, you said it's all girls. Nigga, you can't just. How the fuck do you do that? You said. Yo, bruh, the nigga said you'll get all girls, but he slept with five niggas. You can't just do that, bro. You gotta because, like, yo, no, you, you, been, you, you been to a hood party before, no, right, when there's no girls show like up? This. You gotta say shit like this. You gotta be like, yo, so the nigga said invite all girls. We tried, but no bitches came through. So, bro, you know what I'm saying? He did what he had to do. And then you say that. This nigga come out of nowhere. We invited all girls. So he slept with five niggas. You can't just, what the fuck is that? What the fuck, my nigga? What the, what the hell kind of shit is that, bro? Do you see how crazy that shit sounds? Bro, what the you, you fuck, see, man? You, you see why I'm so good on TikTok. <laughs> Niggas, God damn. Nigga, I'm surprised you allowed to be on TikTok saying shit like that. <laughs> Nigga, they muted so many of my videos of me just talking. How the fuck do well, you get away with that? Well, let's say, like, let's say, like, you'll say a sentence like, I was in the crib, right? And I had a, I had a slight little shoddy. You know, she was filling up on me. I said, I had this mistress, preferably a brothel worker. She was, um... Perhaps touching my lower quarters. You know, that's what I'll do. Oh, see, yeah. I'll, I just keep it a man. Mm, I'm like, yo, so yeah. look, I went to the massage parlor. You feel me? Because I just want to be a strong <laughs> rack man that day. You feel me? I walk up in there. She done grease my gooch up. So I tell her, I, I, I keep it a band, And that's probably what gets me muted. Because I'll be like, yo, yeah. look. I, go, I went up in there. Because, like, no bullshit, bro. At the massage parlor, I had them Asian bitches. I'm talking about greasing my gooch down, bro. Them bitches be, no homo, they be swimming in my shit. But the thing is, it's not like what you're thinking. Like, when I say swimming, like... You know what I mean, bro. You been a massage oh, parlor? You know, bro. They I've, not... I've, I've been bro, destroyed. Bro, bro. What you mean? Nigga, tell me if... Nigga, look, look, look. These niggas don't know, right? Say, for instance, like, this is mm. like your crack, right? These bitches be like this, and they do this over and over, and grab your... Like, they be hitting your balls and shit. Like, some of them, right, they try to be subtle about it, right? So they don't really go to your gooch immediately. The joint that's going to go to your gooch, they're going to ask you about the tip. They're going to be like, yo, how much? You know what I'm saying? But if they, if they don't, they're going to hit you like this. And try to hit like the side of your balls every now and then. And then once they see you, you know what I'm saying, your shit start getting a little hard. Cause like I ain't gonna lie, my shit be so small when it's soft and shit. So it'd be kind of a little like shriveled up. But then once that shit get a little blood flowing, I'm trying to tell you, them bitches be like, oh, so you like that? What you think? You see that? You said you said you go from Aaron Yeager to Attack Titan. I got you. I understand. Something like that, you know? Because I'm <laughs> glad you ain't say the the, the Colossal Titan. Because it's, it's it's probably about the size of the Cart Titan. If I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, we gotta be worried. But like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I keep it a band. I ain't gonna sit there and lie about it. You know what I'm saying? But them Asian bitches, they definitely be greasing the nigga up. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You know what I'm and saying? that that's 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 an issue here. For uh, this is gonna sound psychotic. Do you you know Saikuno, right? Saikuno. Sakuno is on offline TV. He's an Asian content Sukuna creator from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not not the malevolent kitchen. The there's a there's a content creator called Sakuno. He has a, he speaks like oh hi guys uh, how's it going? Is he speaks like, like a black? no he's an Asian dude. Okay, Asian dude. All right, I had an interview with him. I, I set it up. I read it good. I was speaking through one of his peoples. Had an interview set up. Asian people don't like black people. <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't know why it is. You act like that ain't normal. That's normal as fuck. Hurry up and buy. Did you not remember that? The fuck? Them niggas okay. don't fuck with us. Them Asians don't out. like us, nigga. Hear me out. In Detroit, in Detroit is different because I, I okay, I got my nails done. Right, I went to my, me and my girl got our nails done because we was gonna we was gonna wear big suits and go to a fancy restaurant and, and just mess y'all with people. Y'all was gonna dress like y'all was gonna dress like Kanye and Lil Pump. Yes, yes, that's where that's exactly Roblox type beat. We was gonna that's what we're y'all. doing t- uh, tomorrow for our date. And we got our nails painted, and we're, I'm gonna, uh, she's gonna do my left eye, and I'm gonna do her right eye. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just fuck around with people and mess with yeah, them, act like we're famous. <laughs> yeah. Continue, my bad, bro. But um, after that, um, we, we got our nails done. Asian people, these motherfuckers do not know that I know Mandarin. So they were talking shit about me, and I was like, I, why, why to my face? They're like, they're like, oh, I'm like, you said Mandarin. No. I thought you were talking about the oranges. I ain't know what the hell you're talking like, about. I just <laughs> no, like Asian. the language. I was mad. I was like, "What you? What you mean?" And they, and they was like, uh, they was like, they were like, 
I'm like, they called you all type of nigga. They they call me a moon cricket. I was like, I've never heard that. Yo, chill, nigga. We on? <laughs> we're bro. good. We're good. We're good. That nobody knows what that word means. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. You, you you don't think? Yo, my nigga, you have to understand. There was a nigga on a Twitch staff that thought he was a female deer with antlers. Bro, they they have to know what shit like that is because they identify as it. Like, bro, you have to understand. <laughs> I'm dead ass, bro. These things be weird as shit. Like, you're you more viable than me at this point. You more how? you more. No, no, I'm I'm keep it real. no, I just keep it real, nigga. That's real shit. Bro, there was a nigga on there that thought he was a female deer. The nigga over there with antlers. It's like, my nigga, come on. What is you really trying to be right here, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, stop playing, bro. Nigga, you trying to be a doe. You's a John Doe. Nigga, you's a nigga. Fuck is you talking about, bro? Think about gay. Nigga, I, I went to, I went to, um, and it, it, my brother. Now, my brother is so much of a nigga that I can't fathom what he is. It's so it's such a oppressive level of ignorance. Okay. It okay. loops it, it loops back to being somehow progressive. Cause he somehow goes so far right they loop back to the left. I brought my trans friend over, right? Trans man trans man came over, right? And he oh, was nah, he, he, so so how that go though? Cause like that could that that's like that was born with that. So like really if we being real, it's like it, yo, I might have to dap bro up and still be like, yo, so my nigga, like if 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 if, if no bitch is coming through. That, you know that's how it was. That's uh, that's yeah. that, that's exactly how it was. Uh, so, my brother comes in and he sees my friend. Whoa, comes in. You talking about a trans man? You gotta clarify what you're saying, cause like it's like my, my brother enters the room. Okay, there we go. All right. Anyway, he enters the room right. and he's just like, "Hey, what's cracking? What's your name?" He said, and and the dude said, "Oh, my name is Daniel." And I'm like, I'm like, cool. And he says, "My brother looking at looking at him like, your boy or girl." And my friend says, I'm a man. He's like, say, no, he didn't say, he said, I'm a trans man. He said, nah, stop that. And I was like, oh, it's about to get bad. I immediately, I was like, my brother about to do something psychotic. He said, just say you a man. I'm like, what? I was confused. He was like, because think about it, right? You say trans, I'm going to think you got, you know, that grip on you. You say man, there's no, there's, trans don't even exist for real for me. I don't believe in trans. I don't believe in none of that. You a man or a woman. You a man, right? And my trans friend looked at him and said, I am a man. He's like, exactly, you a man. And if my bro sleep with you, he gay. I'm like, oh, I hate this nigga. <laughs> it's no, like, ah. So, so, like, I ain't going to hold you. Bro, I, look, right? I'm just going to keep it a thousand with you. You feel me? I done hit a few questionable bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mm. black like I had to, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. So, look, at the tech school, I mean, not tech school, I, I was in the Air Force, you know what I'm saying? At the basic training, it was what it was. This first joint that I knocked down, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I got some hair from her. She had a mustache, but it wasn't like like a real one. It was like, it was like bleached. So, it was like, yo, it's not like a mustache, mustache. Like, you ain't gonna look at him like, yo, you got a mustache. But when you get up close, you're gonna be like, yo, my nigga. Mm. You go on, when you get up close, you might say something, but from afar, you like, oh, that's just you know, oh, that, that ain't nothing. And I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? It was what it was. But if if I'm around something like that and I get a little drunk, I'm not even asking anymore because I already know. What's the point? <laughs> you said you was a tra first of all. Look, if you say you're a trans woman, you got a whole dick. I ain't trying to sword fight. Don't challenge me to a duel. But at the end of the day, if you tell me you's you's a trans man, that just that just means you want to be a nigga. You just want to be a nigga. You got the game fucked up. Like, I ain't knocked down studs out here. Them, st <laughs> them studs be sneak dicking. And that's exactly what they doing. You know what I'm saying? It's just that they got on hormones and shit. As long, and, that, and, and don't let me run into one of the motherfuckers that ain't cut their titties off. Oh, hell no. Nah. You ain't cut the titties <laughs> off? Oh, you getting fucked. The thing is this. Imagine this, right? Because that's the thing is, they can kind of relate to the struggle. Because, like, they going to be like, yo, you know how it is with niggas. Group of niggas, we call up bitches. Bitches don't come through. I right, bet. And then we all chilling with my man. It's about gay as hell. It ain't that gay, cause look who we got. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you gotta start thinking. Like I said, you gotta start thinking outside the box to get in the box. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you talking about, nigga. But that's what <laughs> I'ma do. You feel know me? Fuck wrong with you, nigga. I'ma do it. <laughs> like, look, don't lie. So you, so you, so you ain't going like in a drought. And you in a drought, right? You in a six month drought, and then all of a sudden you chilling, and y'all, y'all, y'all call some bitches. None of the bitches come through, but one of the bitch niggas, or you know, whatever they want to be called, they there, and you like, hey yo. You mean to tell me you ain't gonna be like, <laughs> yo? Like, come on, you gotta be real here. Why you? Why you acting out? It's crazy. It was like because right, you gonna have to be like, 
<laughs> hey, yo, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me holler at you real quick for a second, you, bro. No, nah, because one, one, my brother, right, something he used to bust in my room and ask these random ass bust, questions. He'd yo, be like, yo, you did. He, all right, he, 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 saying, used, he, used, he used to viciously just, boom, kick down my door. He'd be like, I got a question for you. I'm like, all right, what's up? All right, picture this, right? You got two options. Sleep with three trans women, okay, or Mike Tyson naked in a phone booth, and he beats you up, and you get AIDS. I'm like, oh. What? I mean, one you, is one is just a reputation I got to stick with. The other one is something, the disease I got to stick with. I'm definitely going with the reputation. I'm cool with that. And then he, and then he always, he, after I choose my answer, he'll ask something to him. He'll be like, all right, it's not just three of them. And the three of them, with Mike Tyson, you at least get to, you know, be the, be the bigger one. But with the women, you got to be the bottom. How you feeling about that? I'm like, what? All right, all right see, that, see, it's like the nigga, the nigga, he wants to make it gay. That's the thing. Like, you ever see these conversations with niggas and they just want to make shit gay? Like, yes! Like, I'm like, what? Bro, with me and my niggas, there's never been a conversation where we was like, yo, bro, for like $10,000, would you suck a dick? Like, and you go on Twitter and you see niggas be like, yo, for $7 billion. And it's like, bro, the thing is, you definitely thought about sucking a dick because you was like, yo, I, I, you know, let me just see the amount that I actually would suck a dick for. Because you got to think about this, right? You ain't just going to randomly ask some shit like that with that number. Because that was the number that you came to that you was like, yo, I'll suck a dick for $7 billion. So let me see if other niggas agree with me. For real, bro. You think about it, bro. For real. I, just, let's, let's, look at, let's look at Speed, a black content creator. He figuratively has sucked for a million dollars because he's there. He's at, the, he's at the epoch. He's at the zenith. He's at the peak. Right? Mm -hmm. So what, all, that, all that fake gay stuff he's doing, he's done it for his bag. I think Speed is bisexual. Like I'm saying, like he young, so I don't really like placing shit like that on niggas, but like at the end of the day, he's still, he 19 years old. I think Speed is bisexual. Because the thing is, bro, with 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 those types of niggas, you remember I told you about the blaming on Quay and we was talking about Tyler Creator and shit like that? Mm -hmm. You can't fake it for but so long before you start catching on. To, I mean, before some of these traits start really, you know what I'm saying? They just start being a part of you. And it's like, bro, my nigga, as a heterosexual male, has there ever been a time in your life where you was like, yo, let me fake like I'm sucking a dick? Never that has never happened in my life. I've never that, was, that, that hasn't been a that hasn't been a prevalent thought in like, my lifetime. It, it wasn't even a thought in general in my life to fake that. Bro, Aiden Ross sitting on another man's lap. When I tell you that thought has never crossed my mind. It's just once you act gay for but so long, I'm, you going to start, you know what I'm saying? Those I traits, agree. Tyler Perry effect. I'm just Tyler Perry effect. He's he's been dressed like a woman so long. I wouldn't be surprised. So let's if speed, a, and think about speed, bro. Think about um that girl Ava. Think about this, right? All right. Yo, look, I ain't around a whole bunch of trans people. Bro, at the end of the day, if I'm around too many of these motherfuckers at some given point, I'm like, yo, that nigga bitch really starting to look more like a bitch nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I might have to do that. And that's the thing, because you just gonna reach that point. And I really think that Speed and them niggas, they done been, like, say, friends, they done been around them too long. And they like, I mean, you talk, act like a girl, everything. Like, you don't think she coming on to them niggas and shit like that? Niggas got clout money and everything like that? You don't think they, and it's like, yo, at some given point, them niggas probably gave in. Because that that's, this is why, this is just a, a big pivotal reason why I was so excited to talk to you. Because you don't sugarcoat it. Because you, you're, you're a nigga. Like, and, and case in point. It's so comforting to speak to someone like you because I'll speak to people. I've dealt with ego. You did. You don't know what it means getting egoed. It means you yourself are getting ratioed in public. That's what it means. Like you are somehow getting ratioed in public. You know I mean, what ratio I'm, means? I'm third. Uh, no, no, no. I know it ratioed, but there's no way niggas is like. What the fuck, bro? Because like, I, mm. I saw somebody in real life say LOL, and I was like, yo, what the? Okay, what's going on here? Somebody mm. said it. They said LOL, and I was like. So instead of laughing, you just say LOL. Like, what's going on? And my nigga, ratioed in real life. Like, that's just, that, thinking like that. That's how it is. That's how when you get when you get little bro, little bro, little, little bro is what it is. You getting little bro. That's that's ego. That's what you are getting. Like you getting you getting talked to, a stern talking to from your dad, but by, by a man that's not your dad. You getting you getting bitched. That's what's happening. If they could have just said you getting bitched, but they didn't want to use that term. That's 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 the brass tax of it. I mean, uh, yeah. Um, that's not something I can get into. Like the the internet lingo is something that I don't even want to get into. The main reason why, because I don't want to fall down that rabbit hole and then end up saying some shit in front of a bitch. And I'm sitting there talking to a 35 year old woman. She's saying, and I said ego, and she said, "What the fuck did you just say?" 
No, because that's 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 why I got married. That's why I was I was so happy when I got married. I was like, thank God I'm married, cause I ain't got to worry about, about that ever. You got married to the ninety year old or the, the... no, no. I'm my my wife's upstairs. She's she's famous on TikTok. She's fine. I'm so happy that I'm married to her. Like I was so excited. And this, this, people are gonna clown me all day for this one. And I get clowned by the, my own community, and it's always messing me up. Don't I'm married to white girl. Dick. You ain't about to, okay. No, no, no chill out. Hey, hey, no, I'm hey, saying, hey, bro, hey, I ain't hey, no white. Hey, bro, hey, I ain't no way you you said you gonna clown you. I ain't gonna clown you fucking with a white girl. That shit don't bother me. This gonna mess up everybody. It's a black man. <laughs> no, that shit don't bother me, nigga. I got a white baby mom. Bro, what the fuck? Nigga, you, do you not realize that... you? Man, my son half a half white, half white. <laughs> half a mayo. But um, is what what kills me the most, right? My own community, they posted me. I'm in this group called AAVE Fails. Mm -hmm. They posted me. I posted a video and I was joking. I was explaining uh the black power scaling system. I was like, the worst thing you can be in America is a black is a black woman. And I was just like I, I didn't want to interrupt. I go ahead. My little daughter. It's 8 30. It's 8 30. Who you on the phone with? Alright, I'll allow y'all to talk till nine, okay? After that, get in the shower. Alright, my bad. Good dad, good dad. Appreciate you. I only do that shit for the bitches. I did that <laughs> shit like if you got some bitches on your stream. I nigga, you think I really cared, bro? Nigga, bro, what? She she talking to somebody? I was already gonna say she could be on the phone or not. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I just do that shit for the bitches. That ass, bro. What the fuck? If any of the bitches are, they gonna think I'm a good dad. I'm not. And then and the fact that I always say my daughter, I don't say my son for a reason because bitches be thinking that I respect bitches because I got a daughter. No. That don't mean I'm still a misogynist at the end of the day, but like, yeah, I do that shit for the bitches, bro. I'm like, you know I'm misogynist, she massaging this dick. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. You but feel it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, fuck you, you know what I'm saying, nigga? But yeah, real shit, though, man. I keep it a bad. You know what I'm saying? My was, bad. Continue. No, you're saying, good. You're good. You're good. There was, there was uh, I, got, I got posted in this group, and I see all these black girls saying, like, you can tell he only dates white girls. This, that, and other. And then a, a black dude came in there and said, oh, yeah. This brother has never been on the streets or nothing like that. He don't know what it's like to struggle. He probably has both parents in the household. And I'm like, interesting. Because I've witnessed a man in front of me. Like, I've witnessed a man in front of me. I've witnessed horrifying aspects. I've been the reason for I, There's so much in my life that I've done. And these guys are just, based on my appearance alone, witnessing me. I'm like, that's cool. But when, when, I'm like, you, when you said that you married a white girl, that didn't surprise me. Like, say, for instance, if, if I told you I married a white girl, would that surprise you? That's a, yeah, it surprised me. What? I was, I, I, like I imagine. Straight up nigga. Like, yeah, we, we are opposite. You being a black ass woman that's going to call me a bitch ass nigga if we argue, probably. 100%. Yeah, and I was with one. That's a good, that's a I was with a white girl and a black woman. Like, nigga, she definitely called me a bitch ass nigga. I had to threaten her brother so many times. I'm like, bitch, call me another bitch ass nigga. See what your brother's going to do. These bitch ass niggas, I'm like, yo, you want to you wanna call somebody a bitch ass nigga? You better prove that shit. You know what I'm saying? You have your brothers come in there and prove I'm a bitch ass nigga. So, yeah, nah. This, you this, was, this, this is the horrifying. I have a twin brother named Calcifer, right? By the way, my name Wait, is actually Sarah. Calcifer. Uh, but my name is actually Saros, by the way. That's not like a moniker. My name is actually Saros. So your parents <laughs> are just naming y'all like bleach characters? Like, Aron my, Cars? My, your, your parents my, named y'all Aron Cars, nigga. Bro, you act like I ain't peep, nigga. Your parents is watching too much bleach, nigga. You should have told them niggas to chill, bro. Them niggas want a rock you know, arc. You know, you know what Saros means? Nigga, I know exactly what I mean. You act like I ain't watch bleach. Nigga, no, no, niggas, it, it, blast, nigga. The settle, oh, nigga, you act like I don't know. Nigga, I know. What fuck is you talking about? No, I'm, I was born in Egypt, and in, my, and in Latin, it means worthless. So, nigga, in bleach, it means a blast that niggas do. That's all I know about. I don't know if I can know goddamn Egypt. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> nigga, do I look like I'm in the Michael Jackson video of Remember the Time? Nigga, I don't even remember the time I was fucking, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, hell no, nah, nigga. He's, on, he's, bro. he's, <laughs> I'm weak as fuck. And when people see me, right, I, I got into a fight. I got into a fight when I was 17. Uh, I, it was like three months before I had cancer. Hmm. And dude comes up to me. He's just like, "Hey, bro, back off." I was like, "Oh, I didn't say a word to him. I just pulled, I pulled one out, boom, right in the leg, and walked away. I didn't even say anything to him. Walked away." You talking about and, fifty the nigga, or you talking about you just you you know what I'm saying? Whipped out that book fifty. Okay, okay, yeah. Right. And I, I, and he was he was like, "Why'd you do that?" And I was like, "Oh, I can't risk anything anymore." And I walked away. And my twin brother comes up and he's just like, "Got you," and he just clears them on the floor. And I'm like, "Whoops." And he says, always got you, bro. And he runs off. I'm like, okay, uh, with the C assist, that's crazy. Shout out to Dragon Ball Fighters. I was confused. I, and that, 
<laughs> and that was my life. That was genuinely my life. That was legit. That was like actively my life. I was like, whoops. That changed completely after cancer. After cancer, I had to humble myself. I was like, well, uh, this is karma for sure. I got leukemia. This sucks. Well, and, and after that, after that whole situation fiasco, I began to realize people are never going to like know my past truly people are never going to believe it unless they know me right yeah they're not going to believe that you're not a street nigga they're not going to believe that they're going to look at you and be like ah oh, this 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 nigga this nigga got 13 baby mamas like that's what they're going to think yo are you so <laughs> many people have called me a nerd because i did anime reviews and shit and it's like yes of course you can call me a nerd i don't give a fuck that shit ain't gonna bother me but it's like it's crazy what the, the shit that niggas is you know what I'm saying? That they don't realize you've been through just because of, you know what I'm saying, the type of person you are nowadays, bro. Like I'm real calm. Like, look at you, bro. You ain't gonna you don't present yourself like a street nigga, which you shouldn't. Who the fuck wants to be a street nigga, bro? Nobody wants to be a street nigga. You resort to that shit because you have to. Exactly. It's, it's it's a it's a genuine waste of time. But let's take the reason the reason Kai Sinat blows up, right? The reason Kai Sinat blew up and everything is because he is an approachable street nigga. You are an unapproachable street nigga. <laughs> you are, bro. What's no, tell no, me no, I'm no, wrong. No, no, no. Okay, listen. I don't know if Kyle was in the street like that. Like, cause the thing is this, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I know he's from the Bronx. I ain't gonna hold you. I already know how it is out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm from New York, so I know how it is. But it's like, I don't know if bro was in the street like that. That just because you from there, like, say, friends, you know hood niggas that be some bitches, right? You know some hood niggas and some bitches, like, and like I'm talking about. Like some niggas is bitches, or either some niggas that just never had to involve some street shit. You just live in the hood. You a hood nigga. I think Kai a hood nigga. I don't know about Kai being a street nigga. You feel me? But because no, he's, def he's definitely he's definitely like a New York street nigga, like the, the New York hood nigga. Like he's okay, like I was about to say yeah, because nah, what I've seen is, in his content since he's been a teenager was more so along the lines of a hood nigga. Just a hood nigga that just you know what I'm saying live in the Bronx, but it wasn't on no street shit. Like same friends with me, it's like. Niggas keep talking about my criminal record. Niggas call me a felon and everything like that. Like, obviously, I had... But, like... And then all my niggas... Everybody went to prison. Niggas and shot niggas and niggas doing life. I did, it, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it represents it. But it's like, with Kai, I don't really see that. You feel me? Like, no. He got all his niggas around him. Because you're not a felon, are you? No, but everybody swears I'm a fucking felon. Nigga, everybody... If you, if you ask my chat right now if I'm a felon, they call all say I'm a felon, bro. Yeah, but I'm not a this, felon, this, bro. This is the issue. I am a felon. God damn, uh, nigga! If you look at us, you would bite your I am! Nigga, you're the felon! I'm not even a felon! Yeah, this, fuck, is, this is like, now this is, it's like opposite, because people look at me and they're like, oh, he's got his nails painted crazy here. There's no way he's a felon. Nah, I'm a felon for horrible crimes. You look like the things that I've done. Like, that is the worst thing. That's fucked up, ever. bro. I look like the things you've done. That's a whoa, whoa! With all the shit we've been talking about on the stream, trans men, you know, all the time, nigga, you can't say the things you've done. Uh, Chill out. Uh, uh, the crimes the you committed. Like, I look crime, like the nigga the who committed yeah, the crimes yeah. you did. There we yeah, go. Yeah. Nah, yeah, no that's, bullshit, that's... bro. Nigga, when I tell you, bro, I did what I had to do. But look, I already, I just knew certain things to separate myself from Saint Francis. You thought the leukemia was your karma. I knew the karma for me was when. I got robbed, bro. I got robbed and I got set up by the same niggas that we was setting up niggas, you know what I'm saying? With we were setting up plenty of niggas and robbing niggas. And then all of a sudden I get my ass robbed. Then I'm like, nigga, I deserved it. I only got robbed for twelve dollars. That's the only reason why I ain't care. <laughs> it was like, yo, when a nigga, you know what I'm saying, even put the gun on my head, I was like, nigga, come on, nigga, it's twelve dollars. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Fuck wrong with this nigga. But it was karma though. Real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I done had a lot of shit in the street. Like, nigga, every nigga I ran with in 2007 is dead. Every nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's the, oh my god, it's it's so it's so the person that taught me the greatest trick in Detroit of all time died by a a rusty nail running away from the cops. And that messed up my entire, it messed up my year. Because he taught me, he's like, all right, you want to go down to downtown? Because they, they're doing a, a revolution down there, renaissance. You go downtown, meet and find a white guy with a watch. That man has to have physical cash on him because guess what? He is going to the casino. He has a watch to impress women. Boom. That watch is going to be expensive. Probably nice. You find that white man on watch, you coming up off 200 easy. Then you put the credit card site there, break the credit cards. I'm like, oh my God. All the, all the, it's like, yeah, he told me, he told me game. And he passed because of a rusty nail. I'm like. Ah, damn, bro, a rusty nail. Like, get a tetanus shot, bro. What, how did you pass? I was so upset. I was upset. His foot fell off and he just, I was like, what? I was confused. When I was streaming, I was telling niggas about my nigga Taz, and I even told you about the nigga who fought eight security guards. 
Oh, I, I can't mention shit. I forgot niggas ain't get locked up for it. No, no, no. But basically, he died. You know what I'm saying? To, like, say, for instance, the nigga, he fought eight security guards, right? Mm. He died to somebody who, like, bro, if it's, if it's Kuma from motherfucking One Piece, mm-hmm. this like Kuma dying to uh, motherfucking Tama for Wano. The little girl, like that ass, bro. Hey, yo, how? What? Yeah, bro. It's like, yeah, you it's got like that. Dongo. And That's crazy, like, bro. I'm trying to tell you because it was like, yo, like, how the fuck did you do that? But it was like he thought that he thought that shit was sweet when he got out of prison, so he thought everybody gonna fight like him. And it's like these young niggas is not doing that, like no. at all. These young niggas not fighting you. And it's like, bro, do you not realize how big you are? First of all, before you went to prison, you was already big, and you beat up everybody. You get. You go to prison for like seven years. You get out. Nigga, nobody's trying to fight you. What the fuck? Nigga, nigga you've been working out all day and slapping man cheeks. Ain't nobody fuck? trying to fight you. You nigga, don't know what you're about to do. Nobody's trying to fight this nigga, bro. He come home thinking niggas want to fight. He got killed the first day he got out. Then it's like, nigga, because nobody wants to fight you, nigga. Your name is Taz, bro. And you're known for fighting niggas. You're known for not fighting. You're known for beating niggas up. You're not known for just fighting. Like, bro. It's like one of my niggas, his name is Horse. He known for fighting. But this nigga is literally known for nothing but beating niggas up. That's it. <laughs> he don't lose. He don't lose to niggas, multiple niggas. It don't matter who it is. Like, And he'll tell you, nah, fuck this. I got this. And it's like, bro, it's like seven of them. Nah, I got it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no, it's, I'm, my, my brother, he this tall, right? I'm, I'm five, I'm gonna find five, seven, right? Yeah. My brother, this tall. My brother, this tall, right? Mm-hmm. He has never lost a fight. Ever in his life. Well, I don't know why. He, he he got jumped by four dudes one time, right? Dude threw a punch. He grabbed his wrist, opened it, grabbed his finger, and pulled it all the way back. I was like, God damn, nigga. Oh, he was like, I ain't, I ain't trying. I ain't got time for this. I was like, what? And then immediately after that, he had to piss. He had to pee. He peed a little bit, put it in his hands, and sprayed in the dude's eye. I was like. Oh, he was really about it. He was just. He was, it. he was like, I'm not losing this fight for anything. He, he hit him right in the groin. He. Wet Willy put it right through a dude's finger, busted his eardrum. I'm like, this is disgusting. He Everything was... he did was horrible. And he was like, wow. all right, for the next eight minutes, I'm beating y'all up while you're on the ground. Eight minutes passed. He just on the ground, just going around in a circle, just hit. I'm like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And he said, all right. Bro, the worst I did was uh, kick niggas in the nuts when I was in jail because they niggas tried to jump me. And it was like, yo, I don't care. Nigga, I'm going to win this motherfucker regardless. Kick niggas right in their nuts. <laughs> nigga punching them in their nuts. And they got Johnny Cage's nigga. I ain't Johnny Cage's because I can't do a split. But it's like, yo, bro, no bullshit. I didn't aim for anything else but niggas nuts. No homo. Bro, it was like, yo. Nah, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to win. If you want to jump me, what the fuck I look like sitting there not like hitting y'all niggas in y'all nuts? I, look, at the end of the day, ain't no such thing as a fair fight. And you know that. You know what I'm saying? No such thing as a fair fight. Look, it's about who win and who lose. That's it. I don't give a fuck. So, yeah, nigga, I'm over there just uppercutting niggas nuts. Oh, I do get everything. You know, I'm just kicking niggas in the dick. I don't care, bro. Niggas over there. Nah, this nigga cheating. Cheating? You mean to tell me four niggas versus me ain't cheating? So, fuck that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck this wrong with these niggas, man. Nigga, I, ain't I got. Care. When I when I got my when I got my, my most known fan, everybody in the chat knows about this one. Uh, my chat knows about this one. Um... I got jumped outside of a strip club because I wet a met this girl named Sparkle. That's her real name. It messed me up. And my sister told me about her. I got jumped outside of a strip club because the boyfriend came in when I was getting um, I was getting a fine pecker's toot to phrase it like that. What is so, a fine pecker? Okay, okay, because like that sounds like some prostitute type shit. So what is a fine pecker? A fi- uh, your pecker is your phallic member, and I was getting it tooted on. I was the, the woman was in the back room, so that's what, ha- what was happening. So. I, and then the, the boyfriend comes on. I have my hair out. Boom. Pulls my hair. I'm like, whoa. And he pulls me back. Two Asian dudes. One in the, in the, in the big Korean dude just start kicking on me. And, I, and I'm like. Prime. Prime. <laughs> and I, I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to lose it. They start getting tired. I'm like, ah, oh, wait a second. His, his shoes are untied. I grab his foot and just whole foot just pushes it. Whole ankle went around. And at that point, I'm up. Grabbed a brick. Went crazy. I got a felony for that because the three people passed but that was oh, it yeah that shit. that's oh you was yeah they passed through. yeah 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 I, 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 it was nuts so that's that was in detroit no news coverage <laughs> they didn't care about me at all it was like eh, whatever anyways because you, you never hear about asian crime in the streets yeah, nah, for <laughs> that's crazy. Know, that that's that that's 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 like that's that was that was insane that was nuts to me but god damn one of my niggas he punched a nigga in his face and killed him 
And it was like, yo, but the nigga tried to pull a gun on him. He punched the nigga's face and killed him. He had to do uh, like seven years for that. And it was like, damn, bro, like, so you can't punch a nigga in his face if you pull a gun on you? Just like my nigga Noonie. He just did seven years for shooting a nigga 11 times, but the nigga pulled a gun on him and his friends. You see what I mean? Like, so I don't think Kai has to deal with that type of shit. That's what I mean about no. like, the difference between like me and like Kai type niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like my man, you know what I'm saying? He, he shot a nigga 11 times, but it was like, bro, it's, it's either this nigga or us, not just one person, us. This nigga pulled a gun on us, was ready to kill us. The nigga wasn't trying to just walk up on niggas and just intimidate niggas. He was ready to kill niggas. That was his whole goal, to kill niggas. And he ended up doing seven years for that. I'm like, God damn, bro, that's some bullshit. Bro. And that, and that, that's that's a, that's the thing with, like, the shocking aspect of it. Because people, like, somebody I've, I've never had an interaction with, yeah. Long Beach Griffey. I love all of his content. Everything Long Beach puts out is shocking, it's chaotic, it's, cra- it's crazy. Trey Rags, too. However, Long Beach has found himself in probably the best and worst situation ever. He is somehow the most controversial and well-loved person, but at the same time, nobody collabs with him, it seems like. It, it is, it, I, don't, I, I see other black creators collab with him, but nobody really collabs with him. Because and he it hurts fans. Okay, so before, he did collab with people. So, mm-hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't really like to talk about it too much anymore because mm-hmm. people forgot. And you know how it is. Everything's temporary. I tell everybody all the time, everything's temporary. Look at Balenciaga. People are buying Balenciaga again. But the thing is, everybody's fucking with Griffey again. So I don't want to bring this shit up, but I'm just going to say it real quick. Everything that happened with that situation at one time and everybody was calling him an apologist for certain things because Yep, I remember. That's mm-hmm. it. You feel me? So that's the reason why people stopped. But before that, it's not like he was uh, having a whole lot of collabs because he does shit just like Caleb City on his own. But mm. Griffey did get collabs before that. But after that, everybody wants to fuck with him um, like behind behind closed doors. Like if you haven't noticed, Griffey be posting shit, but nobody want to post the shit with Griffey. He posts the shit yeah. with other people on his stories. But those people don't share that shit in their stories. They don't post it or anything like that when Griffey around. You feel me? So yeah, that's the thing with Griffey. It's, it's because of that situation, because there's always random motherfuckers that keep bringing that shit up. Just like Savers with Kai, right? People keep trying to bring up that he's a, a grape apologist because of what happened with his friend, even though his friend proved mm-hmm. that he didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I, That was not consensual. He said he proved it and everything like that with the video and everything. But um, people keep calling Kai that. And then if you look at Kai's uh, comments when he posts on Twitter and shit, there's people that still say that. Any that's because we... We we have to fit in such a specific small bubble. Like Caleb City is married to an Asian woman, Kimmy. People hate that. I don't know why. I haven't seen that. So, to be honest with you, I haven't seen it. That. Is it? Every, no. So many communities is you know nuts. They hate it. You know what I mm-hmm. saw? People get mad. Mm-hmm. People were mad at Berlizzi for fucking with a white girl because he mm-hmm. hates they, white oh, girl. Oh, oh, yeah, hated they him are for that. But nobody hated. From what I've seen, at least. I haven't seen a single person ever hate on Caleb City because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, the way Caleb City operates and shit, he do operate like a nigga that would fuck with an Asian girl. You feel me? Like I'm saying, mm-hmm. like same friends with me. I always get caught off having a white baby mom. Nigga, obviously I look like a nigga that would be with just black women. See what I'm saying? I always mm-hmm. get called out. Berlizzi got called out that one time and all these black women were hating on him because he danced with a white girl. But Caleb City I don't really just get that vibe from him and he wouldn't fuck with a white girl. You feel me? Like exactly. Because he doesn't, he doesn't give off the perception. Berlizzi goes to the perception like, okay, he may be more of a nigga than Caleb City. Caleb City goes to the perception like, ah, this guy grew up watching Naruto. But even then, saying, so. but like the same way people hate Childish Gambino. People hate Childish Gambino because all he talks about is Asian women. That's like it. It's his preference. The thing is with me, right? It's like, if... You can have a racial preference. Everybody does. Like a lot of people, not everybody. A lot of people do though. A lot. Of, I don't have a racial preference because women are beautiful. I can't hold you. I can't have a racial preference. Women are way too beautiful. I can't do it. I see mm-hmm. why women do though because they find most men unattractive. But a lot of people have racial preferences. It's just that when you bring other people down in the process of trying to voice your preferences, that's the only problem that I have. But if you're not doing that, it's fine. Berlizzi never brought down black women. He never said, Berlizzi dates black women. That's the thing, he danced with a white girl. He didn't date a white girl, he danced with one. But, but it's the, that's the bubble, that's the perception. It's that small little perception. It's, it's when you put up, when you think of a black guy, right? Majority of black people marry black people. That's like 80%. Like RDC, if people mm-hmm. saw RDC, Anybody in RDC dating white girls or anything, then they'd have a problem with that. Because they're all big, niggas. Big, all big, niggas. Yep. And that, that's the worst issue. Because we can't do that. We're not allowed to. And when that happens, 
we get pushed down a little bit. We get we get pushed down deeply. And when we lose that, when we lose that initial flavoring to, to being black, people don't like us because we're not people to, to most people. We're a concept. Mm -hmm. We are, we are a concept. I'm glad you brought that up. I actually said that um, a lot of women just treat us as an experience. So, like you said, how many girls say, oh, I want to experience a black... But they don't say marry. They don't say start a family. Yeah. Oh, I want to fuck a black guy because we got big dicks and things like that. And it's like, yo, like that's the type of shit that I've seen. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like in a date... We are, we are a... Like that. Yeah. We're, we're a category on the hub to them. That's it, bro. That's, we are. That's really it. I've seen that shit so many times. I'm like, damn, man. Like, like say, for instance, bro, I'm not going to hold you. I done knocked down some like Latinas and they go right to their men to have babies and go right back to fucking black men. They fuck black men and that's it. And they go right back to their men to marry them and have babies. I've seen that shit so many times. We're just an experience, bro. And and it's 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 scary too because until I see, this is what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I want to see one successful black VTuber. I haven't seen it, and I don't. I don't mean they're secretly black behind the the Asian little white thing. I want to see a black avatar that's a VTuber, mm -hmm. and then I want to see, I want to see people mention a PewDiePie like figure besides Corey Kenshin because Corey Kenshin is beyond an exception. That that brother is beyond an exception. He doesn't post as much. He's beyond an exception. Corey Kenshin, I, I don't see him collab with anybody for the most part. He doesn't uh, need to, yeah, and he doesn't need to because he's his own thing. And mostly probably because he's a Michigan nigga like me. I don't know. I think he's maybe a thing with Michigan niggas. But I want to see somebody to that level because this is going to sound crazy. I didn't know who Corey Kenshin was, but I knew who Markiplier and who, I knew who uh, everybody else was. I didn't know who Corey Kenshin was. Everybody had to tell me who that was. I didn't watch gaming content back then. Still don't. I had no idea who this motherfucker was. I, 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 need, I need that in the black community because we don't have cohesion in any capacity. It's infighting and it's strange. And there's obviously infighting in other communities, but they hash it out immediately. If it's infighting here, it is definite. It is pure. It is is insane. Just it's weird. Another thing too uh, that uh, that I actually brought up in my stream not too long ago. Do you think that black people chase too much validation outside of our race? Yes. Oh well, yes. We chase validation from other races. I don't see white people ever wanting black validation. As much no, as black people want like white. Say for instance, there's you. When have you ever seen white people say we're gonna invite black people to a cookout? That ass. Have you seen? It? I ain't going, but yeah, no, I haven't seen. It. I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't going either. You think I'm about to eat some potato salad with raisin in it? Man, fuck out of here, bro. You know macaroni with uh, with what the fuck white people be putting in their salad? Breadcrumbs. Fuck out of here, man. Yo, but yeah, man. Like, but but you see black people all the time. Oh, this this like say for instance the Travis Kelsey nigga, bro. He was invited to the cookout because he was. Act, everybody thought he was acting black because he was dating a black girl. They don't say he give a Taylor Swift. Now he ain't invited to the cookouts. Why? He ain't changed. Remember when they remember when they say he invented the fade? Yo, bro, I was so mad. I'm like, yo, what? First of all, black niggas been getting fades forever. But what happened to the Boosie fade though, my nigga? We really Which... gonna act like Boosie ain't we? He don't exist. The fuck is they talk? Travis Kelsey, white ass. The hell you talking about? Ain't no way how a white nigga made. Uh, motherfucking fades popular, nigga. We been wearing, we been rocking fades. What the hell, they, man? That shit pissed me off, bro. It's 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 such a it's a disgusting difference to me when my own people despise me. Uh, you know, I, I I made a video, I made a I made a video mm -hmm. on on TikTok because I'm I'm huge on TikTok. Yeah. I made a video, and right now, let me let me check right quick. I'll check right now. What what? I, I guarantee you, it's gonna be something crazy. Mm -hmm. Right now, on TikTok. There are 308 comments. Mm -hmm. People are fighting each other right now. Because I said, hey, I don't think Africans like African Americans. No, I That's basically that. That's real. That's real as shit. Bro, they, I said, I told people not too long ago to stream. I said, yo, most races in general hate us. And then I said, we even hate each other, bro. I said, look how many Africans will condemn um, uh, African Americans. They constantly talk about us and, and will make sure they separate themselves. No, I'm not African American. I'm African. And it's like, they act like they're a whole different race. Like, bro, we're all, look at us. We're the same color and everything like that. What the fuck, man? You're not lying, bro. That's real shit. Yeah, and it, it, the worst part is, my mom is Arabic. Like, she's Arabic. Mm -hmm. My dad is from Barbados. My dad always talks about he's just like nah it's, it's a different breed they don't even know anything about african history they don't know nothing they don't know about how we used to hunt albinos and grinder bones for magic i'm like what 
And they're like, yeah, they don't know anything about that. I'm like, I didn't know that. And it's like, yeah, you don't know about African history because you got Americanized. And I was like, that's fair. Somebody in my chat said, wait, that's him. I saw his TikTok earlier. What the fuck? So, yeah. Hey, that's good, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, bro. Shit, no, nah, yeah. no bullshit, bro. It's such a divide in our community, bro. It's like we hate each other. And then look, look at the divide between um the men and women, the black men and women. Like, bro, no other community is dealing with this shit, bro. This is crazy. No other what? community is saying that we hate one another as far as like the gender wars. But 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 we're going through it like crazy. As what soon as soon as the worst thing that ever happened, I see it all the time. A black they're like, I don't want a black woman because she's too independent, too strong. I'm like that is the worst way to phrase it. You want a white girl because she's submissive? You want an Asian girl because she's submissive? What? And when you you're like when you get in a higher status point, that's why people love Will Smith so much. People love Will Smith so much because he was with Jada Pickett Smith. They were like, that is what I want. Mm -hmm. That is a black strong family. But then Jada Pickett Smith came out with some other stuff. But I was like, ah, nah. It, it, it was it was this whole thing, man. It's you, you know it's it's the main thing I hate is um is the uh. I'm trying to, I, oh damn, I forgot my talking point. Shit. It was something, <laughs> okay. The divide between black men and women. Oh, mm. this is the main thing I hate. Everybody loves them a spicy Latina with an attitude, but yet they hate black women to have an attitude. That's because that's the same reason people like light skins, because it's not black. It's unappeasing to look at black. If you look at the pinned comment in my chat right now, bro, look at the pinned comment in my chat. That's the hype train. Hold on. Okay, if uh, if you can move that out the way, look at what they <laughs> asked. Do you see that? Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Then the ain't shit pinned in here. Khalifa, hold Khalifa you. we know you black, but just 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 look at that. I can't see shit. I ain't gonna. Okay. I ain't gonna hold you. So basically, he said, "Is it? Hold on. Let me read it. Let me read it. I got you. Go ahead. It says, "Is it bad to say I don't care about race as long as you're my skin tone or lighter?" As black people, we are colorists. We know this. Say, for instance, bro, when I was growing bro, put it like this. Me and you, we ain't too far off in our complexion. But yet, when I was in high school, you know what I got called? Darkness. I got cooked for being black as hell all the time. Nigga, my black ass will see a black ass motherfucker and even still say, man, it's black ass. Nigga, bro, you about black ass. I, I, I don't know. Why do we do that, bro? Why it's internalized hate. Is is when I when I was in Japan, I lived with a guy who made omurice rice in Saitama, yeah. and I was uh I was I was stuck in Japan for two months. When I would go out to karaoke, I'll talk to the Asian woman, and they say, "Oh, Chris Rock." I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool." They they immediately because I, I I favor Chris Rock apparently. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> bro, when I was in Italy, no, 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 I went to Croatia. When I was in Croatia, I was about 160 pounds. Why was these bitches saying I, I was 50 cent in Akon? Nigga, 50 cent? I was like, yo, I can see now. But even even now, I'm not as big as 50 cent. But, bro, I was about 160 pounds. These bitches said, oh, 50 cent? 50, bitch, 50 cent? Akon? I'm like, where the fuck you get 50 cent in Akon? <laughs> like, bro, granted, I'm black as hell, but goddamn, like, what the fuck you mean, 50 cent in Akon? It, it, I had no tattoos, nothing. This is when I was it, in the Air Force, bro. It messes me up because I I, I I completely forget this so much. And I, I wouldn't have known this. I wouldn't even be able to have this conversation had I not traveled the world. When I went around the world, when I was going on Craigslist, living with addicts and things like that, traveling, mm -hmm. I had discovered something very important about black people around the world. I learned this from Gunn Park. Gunn told me, and I quote, The reason the world doesn't like black people is because you guys are so amazing. And I said, explain. He said, the reason you don't like, because basketball makes too much money. Hip hop is the greatest, one of the greatest things on the planet. Everybody wants to be hip hop. J Japanese people are getting dreads. We love the idea of you. It's kind of like a 16 year old that sees a girl with a fat ass. The idea of that fat ass, the infatuation phase is amazing. But when you actually get to know her, you don't want to learn about the trauma. You don't want to learn about the history of this woman. You don't want to learn how, about her bodies in the past. You want to learn about that. You just are obsessed with the aspect of a fat ass. And that's what it's like with black people. Exactly such. Everybody else in the world is a teenager looking at something appeasing. They don't want to know the history behind it. One thing I can say is since I stepped into like the fitness realm is that a lot of people hate on us specifically just because of our genetics. Bro, I'm talking about you will see a white guy next to a black guy with the same physique. 
And they'll say, well, he didn't have to work as hard. What? Because we have naturally good genetics to build muscle and shit. And it's like, bro, how do you know that? That black person may have had to work 10 times harder than that white guy. But everybody automatically assumes that we're either on steroids or that is just our genetics. And I'm like, yo, what the hell, bro? I, ever since I stepped into the fitness room, I see that a lot, bro. I'm talking about so many times. I'm like it, like um, Ashton Hall. Ashton Hall, I think that's his name. Uh, he gets it all the time. People keep saying he's on steroids or something. And then people, nah, you just look like that because you're black. You don't even have to work out. I'm, have you seen Ashton Hall? Do you know what this nigga looks like, bro? Bro, let me just show you what this nigga look like. And people be saying, nah, you just look like that because you're black. Bro. I'm so excited. No, <laughs> I got to see this nigga. I couldn't believe I see when, when people say that this nigga, bro. Okay, Ashton Hall official. That's, bro, people think that this nigga just look like this because he black. Like, bro, I'm like, yo. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the average nigga to me. Yeah, I, I'm not fact, that's every disorder nigga I've ever seen. Bro, I'm like, yo, what, what do you think? You really think that you, bro, even with me, niggas either think I'm on steroids or they're like, nah, you didn't have to do that much. I'm like, nigga, do you not rise, do you not rise what I used to look like? Like, bro, what the fuck? But people think that it's just because of our genetics and it's like, that they hate us when, because of that. Well, I was, when I was younger, I was like 250 pounds. I was huge. I was a big ass fat, fat kid. I was, I was like, oh. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat kid, fat kid. Okay, continue. Yeah, fat kid. Okay, sixth grade, yeah. my brother said, we're going to learn martial arts from dad. We're going to start working out. I said, cool. He taught me Muay Thai, taught me Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he taught me traditional Kung Fu. And I was like, cool. I learned striking, I learned grappling, and I learned how to be flexible. Those are the three bases I learned. Mm -hmm. Really easy. I ended up at 16. This is going to sound psychotic. I was 195. Built. Stacked. Right? Cancer took it all the way. Cancer just destroyed that. I, I'm like 140 now. Cancer just destroyed that. But I was, I was huge. And every time someone saw me, they were just like, oh man, that just wants to come natural to you, huh? I'm like, I'm 5'7", 195. There's no shot that this comes natural. That is, exactly. what? <laughs> this is the crazy hard work. I used to be able to hit 300 push-ups straight. I was like, I'm doing great. The only thing I can I say about it. us, uh, we're built more so for agility. So, you know what I'm saying? Like in athleticism. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have as built legs like white dudes. You know what I'm saying? But it's mm. like, bro, people be thinking that we just naturally are, like, fast. And sh it's like, bro, we still got to work on that, though. Don't get it twisted. Like, they just, nah, you black. You you should all, you should play basketball. What the fuck? Like, my nigga, when I tell you I'm so uncoordinated, bro, <laughs> my nigga, I was in the gym not too long ago trying to shoot, bro. <laughs> my nigga, when I, first of all, this is how you know I'm ass, right? My trash can is, it, nigga, you see where I'm at? My trash can is it, right here. Bro, yeah. I miss every shit. Nigga, look. I just had to pick this up off. <laughs> nigga, I miss them and everything I throw in the trash can, bro. Nigga, I miss everything. I'm so unathletic. I'm so fucking uncoordinated. It don't make sense, bro. But people swear. Oh, you must you must uh, play basketball. You play. Nigga, you know how many white people? Like, yo, you a running back. I'm like, motherfucker. Nigga, I'm, yo, I ain't never. Uh, think, I don't play it, sports. It's, 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 it's so scary because I'll go to the gym now and I'm, I'm horribly calisthenic. Like, I'm so good at holding myself up, doing like easy pull up sidebars, all that stuff. I'm easy, I'm easy to do that. And they'll be like, How are you doing that when you don't have much muscle? I'm just like, It's because I used to, I know how to correctly do it. My, my tendons are strong. I'm still great. I'm still good. I just don't look like it all the time. I can still fight too. I just don't look like it. And pe people just, it's such a, it's such a difference. It messes me up so much because. And I say this so often, working twice as hard for half as much, so we're four times better than most. People need to grasp what that means. Because even if I have to work twice as hard to get half as much, you should be at a million subscribers on YouTube even if you didn't post. You should be at a million. That's where you should be at. And it's, it's disheartening to even see your contemporaries. I imagine people like Lenar Young see people like Caleb City and get pissed. Some, like inside their soul a little bit. They're just like, well, I'm doing the same thing. He doing skit content on YouTube. I'm doing the same thing. Why don't I have his following? What's going on? Because it depends on the approachability. And Lenar Young is darker skinned than Caleb City. Even if he put out the same content, he's still darker skinned. It's it's just the it, the the world the world in itself doesn't like the idea, the 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 reality, not the idea. They're the idea of blackness. They don't like the reality of blackness, and it's horrifying. That's why BET sucks. So it's just. <laughs> BET is trash, bro. Oh I hate BET. God. Is it even black owned anymore? Like, no, it's, it's just not. ridiculousness all day. That's all it is. It's, <laughs> it's the only show they show. Man, but you know it's crazy though. Another thing, man. The stereotypes, mm. right? You know you stereotype my black ass when you got a point here, bro. 100%.
hundred percent. I immediately. Like I said, like you even said, if people looked at us right now, they'd be like, "Yo, if you ask who's the felon, <laughs> they can't, they're gonna be like, we, of course we, it's black ass.'" <laughs> it's like we a jubilee video for real. I ain't bro, gonna hold you. No bullshit, bro. And it's like nigga, I ain't no goddamn felon, but it's real shit. Why do? But but why is it like, bro? No bullshit. Even black niggas, I'm talking about in the neon community, niggas that hate me. And it's like, what the fuck, bro? But they hate me because they just think I'm this nigga. You know what they called me? They said I'm a murderous, violent felon drug dealer that's on welfare. That's um. Bro, that's I'm me. like, <laughs> that's me. That's that's actually me. Yeah. Bro, they me. said I'm all that, and I'm like, yo, when when they said I abandoned my kids, like nigga, you see my kid? I'm saying, bro, I'm, they said I abandoned my kids, like bro, I'm like, yo, where did I get? Where did all this happen? But dog, it's crazy as shit the way they stereotype me. They they hate me, and I'm like, yo, I'm not even a felon, bro. What the fuck? The nigga, the nigga who even said I was a felon, he said he just assumed it. I'm like, yo, he said, <laughs> he said, I saw you tweet about. You know the uh, perfect cells, and he was like, I, I, "Then I got informed that you're a, a violent felon." I'm like, "Nigga, I don't, I don't have any felonies." What the fuck? I got informed, nigga. You know, you and I got told I was in prison for uh, about ten years. And shit. I'm like, wh "Where did all of this happen?" Like, I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's crazy that I missed out on all that. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 where was I? What kill? What kills me the most? And this is this is the, my most my, my most favorite assumption of all time of me. They said, you probably never been with a black girl. And I kid you not, I don't think I even talked to white people until I was 16 if it wasn't a drug deal. <laughs> Bro, nah, okay, okay. Well, I can't say it's just the way you look. If I did look at you like I told, I mean, if I'm just looking at you, if you tell me you're dating a white girl, I'm not going to be surprised. But the thing Good. is, bro, I don't know what it is, but even with me, people be just assuming that I have a white baby mom, even if they don't know. And it's like, they'll just see I have kids, and they'll be like, yo, well, obviously, if they see my kids, they're going to know. But it's like, yo, bro, people be assuming I only fuck with white girls. You know how many girls I got to deal with? They'll be like, yo, I thought you only fuck with white girls. And I was like, where did you get that from? My friend E even said that she thought I only fuck with white girls. I said, where do you? I said, I have a whole black baby mom I was with for five years. Where do you get that from? And you know that. I'm like, she was like, I... I just I just kind of disregarded it because you have a white one, and it's like really nigga like we ain't gonna talk. I wasn't even with my baby, my white baby mom. I was with a black one for five years. Like, man, I don't get it, bro. But like, if I look like say for instance, because we even was talking about that one nigga. I ain't gonna mm -hmm. mention bro name again because I'm gonna tell you about the situation because I didn't get a chance to finish it because you you did drop the Go intro. Ahead. You know what I'm saying? But that Go nigga, ahead. right? You remember I told you nigga dap me up with the left hand and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Got hit, yeah, got you. Peep this. This is all that happened. This is all I did. Nigga, dap me up with the left hand. I said, come on, bro. You know we ain't doing that. I said, come on, bro. You know we ain't on that. This nigga, he immediately went in this racist mode. The nigga, man, I'm not running that fucking shit, man. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I, he was like, man, you, you, you always coming with this fucking street shit, man. I'm not, I'm not on that shit. I keep trying to tell you. I said, dog, chill. So I'm trying to, because I'm really trying to not take it there. So I'm like, yo, please chill. Yo, chill. Yo, yo, calm down. I understand you mad, but you don't understand. It's, I'm literally shaking because I've never dealt with a nigga talking to me like this. And I'm trying, because like on a regular, you know, on the street, it's up immediately. First of all, you ain't talking to me like that. As soon as you even raise your voice, we going to take it there. Like, we got to go there. Like, somebody got to get hurt. Because, like, what are you talking about? The nigga started yelling. I said, dog, please chill. Please. I said, like, yo, can you, can you just calm down? And I'm just sitting there. I'm trying my hardest. I said, like, can you calm down? And then I got to said, nigga, who the fuck you talking to, bro? Like, nigga, you got me fucked up, bro. Nigga. nigga. This nigga tried walking off while I was talking to him. I walked up to this nigga. I grabbed this. I said, nigga, if you don't turn your bitch ass around, who the fuck you talking to, nigga? <laughs> Bro, he screamed. He screamed in front of everybody at the convention. Get out of me! Ah! I said, dog, what? Bro, there's no way you serious, bro. The nigga screamed and said, get your fucking hands off me! I was like, oh, my God. I couldn't believe this nigga did that. That's why I don't fuck with bro, because of that. And like I said, it all started off with just me saying, yo, bro, you know we ain't on that. That's all. And when I tell you, ask him. I said this shit publicly, because I'm like, yo, this is real shit. I ain't lie about this shit. Ask that nigga. I said it calm. I was trying to be calm, because I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe a grown man is talking to me like this. Like, bro, that's not a street nigga. Because don't get it twisted. I told niggas about some shit that happened in my chat. I mean, I told niggas in my chat or whatever before. Street nigga, right? I'm over mm -hmm. there at this in this nigga hood. This nigga knew them brought me over there to his hood and shit like that. I'm over there, and the head of his hood is talking some shit or whatever. And then I said, I remember when I bought that for you. 
You know street niggas, they do not play with money. You you ain't gonna ever act like you did anything for a nigga that done got it out the mud. This nigga, some ain't no pussy ass nigga ever bought shit for me. Man, who the fuck is you talking to, bitch ass nigga? And I was like, nigga, I'm around like 30 of his niggas. I shut the fuck up like that. I ain't say nothing because I'm like, I ain't trying to die. Because Noon even said, he's like, yeah, you'd have died. Like, if you, if you said anything crazy, you'd have died. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I ain't stupid. I ain't trying to get shot. I ain't trying to get stabbed. I ain't trying to get jumped. Nothing. Nigga, but the it's, next day, I talked to the nigga. And the nigga was like, yo, my bad, bro. I was drunk as shit, dog. And I heal. <laughs> nah, because he a real nigga. Like, bro, he a real nigga that really, he staying on business mm -hmm. for real. Like, he don't, he don't play at all. Like, he really, you know what I'm saying, put me in the dirt. But it's like, the nigga just like, he, he apologized. He realized, he was like, yo, I was just tripping. But it was like, yeah, nigga, I know I'm going to shut the fuck up. And I realized this is a real nigga. But not that nigga. I'm like, who the fuck you talking to, bro? Definitely when I'm trying to be calm to you, ain't no way in hell you think you can get away with that. You were sitting there. You, and I'm, because I couldn't believe. You don't understand. Like, it, <laughs> I couldn't believe that this man is raising his voice at me. Like, bro, when he raised his voice, I was like, <laughs> you see the song on my face? I'm like, me? You were Because I'm looking for the nigga he raising his voice at. I'm like, it's only me and you here. Nigga, who are you raising your voice at, bro? Like, me? There's no way you're doing that, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, make like Mario trapping and pipe down. Like, don't do that. Like, it's, I just like, couldn't believe this nigga was talking to me like this. Definitely when you know you're not like that. And then, like I said, the nigga screamed when I grabbed this nigga. And I was like, yo, who the fuck you talking to, nigga? And he screamed. And I was like, oh, my God, bro, you on that? Everybody looked at me. I'm like, oh, my God, he embarrassed the shit out of me, bro. Because, like, in that type of situation, the nigga who screamed, he ain't the nigga who get embarrassed. I get embarrassed because <laughs> yeah. everybody looking at me like, why did you put your hands on this nigga? <laughs> Because it was, what was it, uh, I was at, I was at a, a convention in Columbus, and the first convention I ever, um, it was like one of the panels, I, I, a new panel I was doing called How to Pick Up Baddies at an Anime Convention. I'm doing that at DreamCon, too. And uh, I go do this this uh, panel, and I'm chilling, and everybody's making a big hubbub about my panel. I'm confused. 400 people in this tiny-ass room come. I'm like, what the fuck? And it's not like a big room. It's like... A room maybe four times bigger than this one. Not in that big a room. 400 people just coming in like, we love to see here. We love to see it. I'm like, cool. One dude was That's offended by the stuff. You said that. It said it, you said you said that like in like an Asian accent. That was crazy. Don't do that. that was, that's a little racist. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I would not a racist. I said an Asian accent. It was I'm, I'm just, just a, it's a, it was a nerdy dude come up to me, a nerdy white dude, and he was like, I, I gotta learn how to pick up women. I'm like, cool. I got you. Whole the whole the whole crux of it is me telling people to put on deodorant, basically. Um. <laughs> It could they must be. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. They they must I'm like you smash bros players need to motherfucking size up your deodorant, you bitch ass. I was so pissed. And I was like, and then and one dude, he raised his hand because I said you gotta raise your hand and ask the question. He raised his hand, he was like, Why are you saying this? This is so hurtful. And I said, Because I'm a nigga first and everything else second. Understand that. Y'all see me as this nerdy anime dude. I like Dragon Ball Z. I talk to y'all, I do every black character in anime, I do that shit. But y'all gotta grasp this first. I'm a nigga first. And everything else second. Then white dude gets mad at me. He gets up. He just like, he starts walking towards me. And he starts like screaming in my face. I, sh I headbutt him right in the bridge of his nose and kept talking. I was like, yep. Anyways, everybody was like, what? And I was like, no, I'm going to keep doing my panel because I got two hours. I'm getting my baths reimbursed. Yeah. I ain't got time for this. Yeah. <laughs> Real shit. Bro, not, you know what's crazy? Dog, my first convention. No, it was, no, it was the second. No, no, yeah, it was, mm. no, no, no. First, the first... Because, like, if the nigga in here, he watching it, it's like, bro, it is what it is. The nigga was topo. The nigga walked up on me, and he was like, yo, I fuck with your content. Nigga went like this. I thought he about to dap me up. Notice I said he dressed as topo. God of destruction topo. Nigga, no shirt. Fat as hell. Sweaty as hell. This nigga. Gra I said, dog, what the fuck? So that's the first nigga. Bro, tell me why I'm in my panel, right? This is the second Command Con. It was the second because the first Command Con, I didn't even know there was a line. I just thought that we let everybody in, and I that was all. I did the whole panel with just a, one group. I didn't realize, my nigga, the line was wrapped around the corner. But the second one, I'm taking pictures with niggas, bro. My my arm, my shoulder stunk so bad because niggas was doing this, taking pictures with me. When I was like, oh, my nigga, I had to get that dirt off my shoulders. Nigga, I almost turned into Jay-Z. Nigga, I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? When I tell you my arm stunk so bad, I was like, oh, my God, nigga. These niggas be stinking at conventions. I don't know why they get mad. Bro, the thing is, I told niggas. Bro, because, like, the first command count, I invited niggas to my, um, my motherfucking, um, 
my hotel room, right? Not invited, but it was like, I, look, I'm the, I'm a man of the people. I don't worry about content creators when I'm at conventions. I don't do the green rooms or anything. I really go out there with the people. So I'm out there with the people and people follow me. It just was what it was. Like, no bullshit. And niggas in my chat know too. You know what I'm saying? Like, with me, I'm really out there with the people to where if you start walking with me, I'm not going to tell you, yo, what the fuck you doing or anything. You just walk with me. It is what it is. Niggas walk with me, then walk in my room. Niggas got there, and I'm like, yo, what, what, what's that smell, bro? Niggas is like, yo, what you mean? I'm like, bro, like, yo, when did y'all niggas stink, bro? What the fuck? Did y'all take a shower? Nah, man, I'm going to take a shower tonight. I said, get the fuck out of my room, bro. What you doing? Like, yo, I said, get the fuck out of my room, nigga. I said, you know, do you not realize how bad you stink? I said, you got the nerve to come in here and sit on my bed, nigga? What the fuck, bro? I said, nigga, there's a couch, there's a floor. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? There's an outside. You got all of these places to sit at, and you chose to sit on my fucking bed, something like that? I can't believe that shit, bro. You don't understand these. No. Y'all in the chat, y'all do not know these niggas at conventions be. And then no, no it, it's it, the it, bitches too. It's the bitches too. Nigga, bro, these bitches pussies. I'm talking about they be wafting, nigga. Nigga, you be walking through like God damn, what the fuck? Am I a dream kind of Lord John Silver's? God damn, bitch, it's what the fuck? Yo, it be. I'm talking about these bitches pussies just be wafting, nigga. You be smelling. You like God damn, cause I know they ain't no underarms. That's definitely that pussy. For the niggas who won't get pussy, you don't know a pussy smell like. I'm talking about that stank shit. You gonna know though when you. Why you think bitches be like, yo, don't leave your pussy at the in the bathroom. It's it's cause it, it and it and that's a that's an issue too because black anime nerd niggas specifically have such a victim mentality. The, the victim mentality on black anime nerd niggas where they say, oh, I want a white girl because black girls won't date me. And I'll go to a convention and I'll see all these black girls. They're coming to me and be like, man, you are the perfect man. I, you are so, And I'll be like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on you, shoddy. I'm, I'm straight. You, you stink. Like, they're like, legitimately, I will back them off immediately. And then the black nerdy dudes will be like, how'd you do it? I said, I'm not interested. So they love me. I don't know how to phrase it. Anyways, <laughs> I want you to go to my page right when we done. It's on my mm -hmm. Instagram because it's probably easier to find it on there. I have a video about black nerds that we reacted to this one dude video because he was saying black women don't like black nerds. And I'm like, yo. And then he kept saying this over and over. It's it's they only find the black nerds attractive that are conventionally attractive. I'm like, yo, put it like this, right? All right, Mark. People consider him a black nerd. Does he have a problem getting black women? No. King Vader. They consider him a black nerd. Does he have a problem getting black women? No. It's just y'all niggas be dirty as hell, ugly as hell, stinking all types of shit. Like, bro, what the fuck? That's the problem. I'm like, yo, nigga. Bro, look at me, my nigga. Bro, look. I'm a whole black nerd. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking? What the fuck? Nigga, I'll pull this shit out on the bitch and still she gonna unsheat this sword when I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Bro, you think a bitch is like, yo, I ain't gonna fuck him because he got a whole Goku statue. Nah, fuck out of here. Goku gonna be watching this fuck. Fuck is you talking about? But the thing is, I ain't dirty. I ain't ugly and shit. These niggas be about ugly as hell. Dirty as shit and everything like that. What about bitches don't wanna fuck with him? They think it's only black women. This bitch is a general nigga. You dirty. You stink. You ugly. Fuck is wrong with these niggas, man? Tell these niggas, bro. And I, I, don't, I don't think people grasp that. And, and a bigger issue, too, this is completely unrelated to the, the whole black thing. People don't hang out with ugly people. A lot, like people don't realize that. Like you could be the kindest, sweetest, smoothest. You could be so kind. If you ugly, most people are gonna be like, nah, I ain't, I ain't fuck with you for real. I will. Like that's the the reason why. <laughs> no, no, no. The reason why I hang with like ugly people. I was about to lie. I was about to lie. And say because, you know, what I'm saying I'm like all inclusive. Nah, I, I do that to make myself look better. But like, you know, I ain't gonna hold you. You know, nah, cause like you gotta think about it, bro. Like, look. Uh, like, look, I might walk past the bitch and the bitch might notice me, but you damn sure gonna notice me if I got somebody ugly next to me. Now, see, so because you gonna be like, at least he look better than him. You feel That's me? what women do. That's what women do. Women That's do that shit. They be like, they know. They be doing that shit. They be knowing what they be doing, bro. You see, you always when you see a when you see a bad bitch and she always with another bad bitch. For the most part, she with an ugly one. You know what I'm saying? A linebacker. You be seeing them linebackers in the club. They always the ones. You know what I'm saying? Um. That's uh, that's blocking. They always the cock blockers, the linebackers. You feel me? When have you ever seen a group of bad bitches and one of the bad bitches is blocking? Mm -mm. It's always no, they the be, linebackers. They be like, good luck. And they walk away. <laughs> they be like, exactly. hey, you got it. Exactly. It's always yes. the linebackers and shit, bro. So to, to bring the loop this back to black content creation. <laughs> yeah, we got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the loop it back right quick. Yeah. In essence, mm -hmm. when you started your journey... What was you think? What do you think is the biggest obstacle when you started? What was the biggest obstacle? 
man, it's crazy. Uh, trying to uh, man, uh, let me think really quick. What was my biggest obstacle? Because I'm sure, I'm sure you get. Because I get death threats right now. Like right now, I have. I'm. I'm gonna just go through and check right quick. Just a, a quick synopsis. I have 827 message requests, and if I go through them, it says, go to hell, I hope you die, you don't deserve to exist, that's what it says, uh, like, in the thing, that's what I get, like, all day, and in my comments, it's sometimes it's like that, it's it's depressing, and I, I'm used to it now, because mm -hmm. I've done this for quite some time, but I'm pretty sure it still gets to you, that's obviously an obstacle, but I want to know specifically, what do you think is the biggest, the one that, the, the one thing that could potentially make you give up? searching for new content if i'm being honest i didn't have to deal with those types of issues right um i faced a lot of scrutiny you know what i'm saying like throughout my time of being a content creator but at the same time i didn't face but so much it was only certain videos that i would garner that type of negative attention but it wasn't like i was trying to be controversial i would just give my opinion on certain things and i wasn't like recently oh i've gotten it way worse it definitely when i kind of stepped into like the red pill you know what I'm saying, type of thinking, mm -hmm. I definitely, you know what I'm saying, faced a lot more of those type of negative comments. But before, it was, like, bro, the internet was different before, though. You feel me? Like, bro, I was saying hard R's, I was saying the F word, you know what the F word, the F slur, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. just normal. It was normal shit back then. But it's like now, you know what I'm saying, people just get mad at me for saying shit like, yo, I, men don't want to wife a hoe. They got mad at me for saying shit like that. Like, before, it was like, if you got mad at me, you got mad because I might have said some extremely like racist shit or something you know or something that extremely controversial but it's like now people get mad at me for saying shit like yo men don't want a hoe and it's like what the fuck like that's really what they get mad at me for but it's like i don't get into that shit anymore like i used to i've been stopped that shit i even you know what i'm saying at the beginning of this year i already told people i'm not getting in that red pill shit anymore that shit was fucking with my head bro i'm not gonna hold you you know what i'm saying i didn't go through like red pill rage but it was just like i had my own experiences with women and i'm used to dealing with women that way and I ain't gonna lie, I was letting that red pill shit influence me. And I was like, damn, bro, I'm definitely getting less women by thinking, like, this is the fuck am I doing, bro? Like, before, it was like, I just know women. Women, like, you know what I'm saying, they may take a while to reply. They, they, You know how many girls would hit you with that, you know what I'm saying, Um, oh, I just woke up type shit. It's just bitches in general. It was what it was. Back then, I didn't care. It was like, yo, fuck it, I just know bitches. I know you probably fucked a nigga last night. It is what it is. Just as long as when you fuck me today, you know what I'm saying, you ain't, you know what I'm saying, got this nigga dick on your breath. I'm cool with it. But it's like, I stepped into that red pill shit, and it was like, uh, well, she must not see my value. Nigga, Nigga, you's a great value, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, bro? Nigga, the fuck, bro? You's a Walmart type, nigga. Do you not rise yeah, up? I, you ain't I had not. I had nothing to bring to value to most situations, and honestly, right? I had nothing to bring to value. I'm not gonna hold anybody, but I was still pull like crazy, simply because I, I, I told, I tell, I tell, I told a lot of girls the same line. They thought it was the most impactful thing they ever heard because they deal with a lot of people that are red pillars. I said, I don't care if I'm your five hundredth body as long as I'm the last one, and they said. Oh, my hero. I'm like, yeah, academia. Let's get it. And I, I was, was just about to say that nigga. Yeah, I was about to say nigga. But yeah, hell no. Fuck out of here. If I'm your 500 body, the hell no. The fuck? No, like, no. I ain't gonna hold you. See, I I can't deal with all that. Now, nah, that's now fair, that's I ain't looking for a virgin. I ain't looking for something like that. And I'm not looking for no young ass girl or anything like that. But at the end of the day, I don't want a girl that was just giving herself out there. You know what I'm saying? Giving herself up out there like that. Because it's like, I did, I, like, in my experience, those types of women, then they're, they're not, like, viable partners. You feel me? They're not suitable partners. They're just, mm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way they operate. Say, for instance, right, this one joint I was dealing with. And I told niggas mm. about the shit in the chat. She was a girl that she kept harping every on on the on the body count thing right every time you go to twitter and there's the body count shit come up why do men care about body count i already knew she was a hoe i knew it i even told her i said yo there's no reason why i should know you fucked the nigga the week before you met me because you posted it on twitter i said what's your problem and i told her about how bad that was and you know what i'm saying as far as just having that high ass body count fucking so many niggas and she wanted me so she wanted to be with me she was fucking me for a little bit and then i told her i said i ain't gonna lie this ain't going to go anywhere because I ain't going to take you serious. You fuck too many niggas. And then she stopped fucking with me and became a single mother the moment she got pregnant. That, no, that's that's a that's a realistic reality of things because it, it's the same way. I don't hate polyamory, right? But it is genuinely not for me because it is the craziest mindset. The only reason polyamory exists is because we have the internet. We can see all the potential we have. So if you with somebody 
and they ain't hitting it right and you mad at it so you find somebody different it's cheating with extra steps it's probably scammers realistically and it, and i understand people want to experiment and try everything they can do and they probably they probably think oh a girl with a buyer hottie count uh, one time my brother said something that i thought was genius but then i buyer hottie count you act like i, uh, you, that. I heard that you, 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 you said keep pushing i got you i heard that <laughs> Is he, he said, well, think about it like this. He playing an RPG. Would you rather be with a level one or a level 50? Now, I was like, oh, he's spitting. This little girl to scare you. Yes, my little baby. Huh? You going to sleep now? I love you. Hold on, bro. It's 930. You was in the shower for 30 minutes. Do you pay the water bill? Why are you in the shower for 30 minutes? <laughs> she over there. What is this? <laughs> All right, my little daughter. I love you. Go to sleep, okay? I love you. Is that your Yes, I'm yes. Uh, want to end the <laughs> now. Do you want to say something? Go ahead. Yes. I know what you're going to say. I already know what she's going to say. What, what you got to say? Um, Go ahead. <laughs> what you got to say, little girl? Uh, Speak up. Now turn the mic up. What you got to say? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything you want to say? Go ahead. You should interview me for about. You drive. You know, for about how much? Three fifty. Nah, tree three fifty. Three fifty. Say about tree fifty. A tree fifty. She already know. You know what I'm saying? You already know, little girl, about a tree fifty. A tree fifty. All right, I'm full up with you. You know what I'm saying? All right, little girl, get a step in, cuzzo. I love you, my little baby. No, right. I'm weak. But <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, that's my little baby. So, and he, he said this to me. Where he said, "You ready to level one, level fifty? You playing a video game?" I'm like, probably, probably level fifty. And I got older, and, and like I thought about that. I was like, oh yeah, I want to get power level. You know, it, it give me more experience. Then I got, then I, I got older, and I thought to myself, well, I got played Power World recently. I prefer restarting in Power World, starting from the beginning, building up with friends. That's how it is being with somebody that you know is new to it. You both learning each other's bodies, experiences. You experiment with each other. That's the beauty of it. If you got somebody that had a hundred bodies, you're going to feel a weak. You're going to feel weird. You ain't going to feel like you up to par. You're competing with a hundred different dicks. That's ridiculous. So I'm like, man, that's crazy. Well, that sucks. See, that's the reason why I don't want to go to what I, like, say for instance, right? When I dealt with my ex, I was a third person, bro. And it was, I knew it guaranteed. Like she, bro, she didn't give head. Like she don't, she wasn't, she was very vanilla with everything. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't used to shit. And I was like, yo, I liked it. And that's why I impregnated her. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, my, my first baby mom, it was just like, I ain't gonna lie. She got buzzed down. You feel me? I, but it was like, yo, she was, she, she was holding nigga down while I was locked up. So it was like, I just had to give her some complimentary dick. You know what I'm saying? And she ended up, <laughs> she ended up getting pregnant. And it was like, yo, damn, like. I was like, light yagami. I said, get rid of it immediately, bro. I wasn't playing, bro. Where you couldn't have got I was like, light yagami. I'm trying to tell you, bro. They, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get rid of that motherfucker. But like, you know what I'm saying? It was what it was. But I, I, you know what I'm saying? Now I got two kids. Now I'm months apart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Don't make that same mistake, bro. That is, 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 is a mistake. I got a vasectomy. You can't make that mistake. Well, luckily enough. <laughs> yo, I should get one. Why the fuck am I not? You know what I'm saying? But I, I was like, I, you got two. So I mean, like, at I'm that point, you can. Get... I'm not going to hold you. Okay, if I hey, could, you do. I want like triplets and then like two more daughters after that. Are you but, a Christian man? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this... <laughs> do I look like I'm religious? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Yo, there's, no the the there's no way I said that. There's no way I said that. Nigga, I'm weird for the bitches. Bit. Nigga, everybody in my check time with us for the bitches. Nigga, I don't, bro, now why you think I said, do I look like a religious? I don't even know I have this. I forgot. Bro, I wear this shit for the bitches. Bro, I dead ass. Nigga, you think I wear this shit because I'm religious? Bro, what? I dead ass wear this shit for the bitches. Bitches love it. Bro, what? Oh, They're like, no, oh, you're you, right. You're you know, right. bitches always want a God fearing man. I ain't a God. I don't fear no nigga. You know what I'm saying, bro? They be like, oh, you're a man of God. What the fuck? No, I'm not. I, I just bought this shit for like $300. That's it. That's, and I bought this shit just for the bitches. That's it. It's a, it's a scary reality of that aspect because I'm genuinely not sure why so many black people, and black content creators too, love Christianity so deeply. I, 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 I've, I've tried to figure this. Like Corey Kenshin, huge Christian. And I love, I'm, I'm, I, I, it messes me up because from what I, when I, I'm from Africa. So from what I understand, Christianity was brought over by colonizers. That's what I understand. Why is it now touted and loved like that? What, what happened? The way we're raised. Mm. Say, for instance, with me, bro, a lot of people, because we talked about this in my community. When I was younger, 
my aunt used to tell me I'd be on punishment if I don't go to church with her. I hated church. There was no point in me going there because I didn't like it. I was like, yo, I felt like, first of all, I'm watching you. You're like the biggest hypocrite I've ever met. And I'm watching you go to church. I'm, I'm imagining that everyone around there is just like you. Plus the pastor, he was a terrible person. You know what I'm saying? There was plenty of people in there that it was like, damn, bro, like drug dealers, all type shit. And it's like, yo, like what the fuck? Like what is there? What, what, what is this? Why am I here around all of these people that don't even abide by, you know what I'm saying, what they're preaching? So, yeah, that, that, like, but we always get told, you know what I'm saying, we should be Christians and shit as black people. And like I said, we're raised like that. And I was raised to where you, you're on punishment if you don't go to church. Uh, I ain't gonna hold you. They, I, I was a youth pastor because I was... <laughs> They forced me to become a youth pastor when I was growing up. I was like, "Well, him. I was confused. I was like, why is, why, why am I, I'm a, I'm a youth pastor. Okay. So, and this is, this will probably close out things here just to, you know, we've been going for two hours at this point. So I'm going to close things out with you here for on this one. This is the most pivotal and important thing for me because I think I have access to most content creators that are black resource wise. The support from your community. Who supported you in your upbringing? Because resource-wise, you made videos on your phone for the most part until you got this set up. Who supported you? Who was, who was the supporters? Was it random people or was it people actively around you saying they knew you were going to make it? Oh, of course. Oh, you always will get more support from people who don't know you. Yeah, the people who know you, they just think, oh, well, you my friend. You know I got you. No, you don't. So why don't you share my shit? Um, I've always noticed this because uh, uh, when I when I started off, I started off doing music first. Bro, the people who supported me most, I had fans online. Those are the people who are sharing my songs. Other people, man, I, I mean, I mean, bro, I, I just shared your shit the other day. So you can't share it today? So this random person can share my shit every day, share it multiple times a day, but you can't do it because what? But you can share Drake all day. That's one thing I've noticed, you know what I'm saying, when I was growing up because it was like, I mean, not growing up, when I was doing music, I kept seeing people posting Drake and like they're, you know what I'm saying? When, um, you remember before when people used to post, uh, like YouTube links on Twitter for like music yeah. and shit. And mm. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Cause Drake don't need your support, but, but you posting his shit, but you can't post mine who I need it in order for me to make it. I saw that shit so much, bro. Even, even now to this day, bro, if you go to any of my friends page, you're not going to see any of them sharing my shit. But if you go to my fans and shit like that, people in my community, you'll see them sharing my shit. If you go to my Twitter right now, tell everybody to retweet my stream. Not a single person that actually knows me in real life retweets my shit at all. Don't even like it. They they like my shit on Instagram and everything, but they don't they don't support me as far as like actually supporting me, bro. None of my none of my friends are sub to me. Not a single person I know in real life is sub to me. I think the only and bro, people and the thing is, you'd be surprised at how much I do for niggas. Niggas in here, if you in here right now, you know how much I've done for niggas. Niggas don't even pay five dollars and ninety nine cents to sell to me. Dead ass, bro. Niggas ain't support me once. I'm talking about not even one month. Five dollars and ninety nine cent out of four years that I've been streaming. Not five dollars and ninety nine cent at one time. You want you want to know why I easily gave you three hundred and fifty dollars? Well, I thought it's because I just said three fifty as a joke. Like, and you see my daughter just said three fifty. That's just what we say. But why, why, Yo, I wonder, I wonder why I gave it to you so easily? Because you know I'm broke. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're a felon. <laughs> I'm you, I'm you. <laughs> it's, it's because when I hear you speak, I hear somebody that is the same base as me. That's what I hear. I hear somebody felon, that bro. no, not a felon. The okay. same base. The base. Like I'm probably not gonna get a bunch of sponsorships. I'm probably not going to get a bunch of people that are like, oh, here goes a brand deal. I'm not going to get that. I need, I'm going to have to rely on my community for the most part. Mm -hmm. I hear that in your voice. Because when I, when I, the first, when I had 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I did my first convention, it wasn't my, fan, my friends, my people from school, because I was in school when this happened. It wasn't those people that were around. Random fat white dudes with glasses and people that I've never seen before. People saying like, oh, I, I, I'm the Fiverr 95er. I'm like, what? In your chat, I'm the guy. I'm like, oh, cool. What's up, man? What's your name? I I'm Derek. What's up, Derek? Just say your name is Derek, man. I don't know that. I ain't gonna remember that. Just say your name is Derek. I call you Derek in chat. Like that's how it operates. Somebody in my chat right now is Rain. Rain's always here. Rain's always here. People on my TikTok, they are so confused why I respond to every message request. They be like, I didn't think you respond. I only got two hundred thousand. That ain't nothing to me. And like, really, I only got two hundred thousand. Don't worry about that. I respond. What do you need help with? They are so confused by that, and I can see that from you. Because you don't, you don't see the parasocial aspect. You see people and you're like, oh, it's my nigga. You support me. I appreciate you. 
That's what you see. That's why when I get it at 350, I was like, it'll come back eventually. I, I, cause FD Signifier asked for nothing. Infernal Omni didn't ask for anything. But you, I would give you, if, if it meant that I could speak to you, I probably would have gave you a thousand. So if I had, so the, so the thing is about the twenty thousand. <laughs> 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 this nigga about to go to the twenty thousand. I can feel it you coming. You knew, nigga. You knew I, I was about to go. Get my, my bad, bro. My bad. I can feel it coming. Twenty thousand. You knew that. You knew it. Was, go it was going. It was going to twenty thousand. You knew where that shit was going. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's it's important to to speak to people like you. I I love conversations like this because this is you, you may not realize the pivotal impact that you have all the time it may not you may be chilling with your daughter and know that you got to be a great dad for your daughter you may be hanging out with a woman and think okay i gotta impress her but to the people that you'll never meet you mean so much you could have never met me your entire life ever and you would have meant so much to me just the presence you present the essence of your character the way you speak passionately about anime the hypeness you get the vernacular the way you allude things your comedy all of it is so perfected in the endless loop it's amazing to witness. It's an art form, and it's so effortless for you. You do it even when you're joking, because that's your brand. It is impressive to witness somebody that has come from struggling so deeply when it comes to the negative comments and not reaching the milestones you may have thought you'd reach, but still working and improving, not caring about tomorrow, but being the best version of yourself today being amazing. That is why I desperately need to have this conversation. That is why you are so important to me in the black community. Yo, I really appreciate that, bro. And I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, you got to see how I am, you know what I'm saying, with my community and shit like that and how I treat people. And that's the reason why when you catch me at conventions, you don't catch me with the content creators and shit. Why am I going to sit there and be around content creators and shit when they ain't sharing my videos? Bro, all of these people over here, they, the people who made me, they're the ones who did that, bro. If you see me at a, at a convention, you always going to catch me in the crowds, bro. At the first Command Con, they kept telling me, nah, Daquan, you can't be here. You can't be. Nigga, I kept going out there with everybody. I was like, yo, fuck that. These are the people that made me. Y'all invited me here, but they made me. What the hell I look like wanting to just be around y'all? I want to be around the people. These are the, bro, you don't understand, like, how much I get support because I actually treat people like real people. And that's the reason why I like doing face reveals and shit like that. And you even see in my chat, people are coming in. When they say something, I'm like, nah, who are you? Bro, I acknowledge people as real people because I want to know who the fuck I'm speaking to. I tell everybody all the time, I already know there's a lot of weird people online. I don't want y'all to be that, though. I want to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, I don't like for people to just come in my chat saying they don't get no girls. They never got, uh, they don't have friends. They never got a girl to even show them attention. Things like that. Yo, I've never had a friend in my life. I'm like, nah, I actually want y'all to have meaningful rela relationships and things like that. And I want y'all to know, I mean, I want y'all to be people that, I could actually fuck with in real life. People that I can hang out with. That's why at conventions, nigga, the people in my chat can tell you, I only hung out with the people in my community. I did not hang out with content creators. Nigga, you'll see me, throw it up to them. That's it. And I'm going right back with the people all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that, I always will be humble and I will always, you know what I'm saying, just be me naturally me. That's the reason why my comedy, the reason why it comes off so natural, because this is really how I am. Like, no bullshit, bro. <laughs> Some, certain things I say, I know it's off the wall. It's unfiltered. But it's like, yo, at the end of the day, it's still me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I don't have to yell and do all this crazy shit or anything like that. It's just like, bro, like, some, you see when I'm streaming sometimes, it's like, I'll just be talking like this and I'll just say some shit and I have to try to not laugh because I even know the shit's just funny, but it's just naturally me. That's another thing, bro. With my style of comedy, it's what makes me laugh. So I realize a lot of people in this world share my same uh, sense of humor, bro. I be making myself laugh. I told niggas that in the stream earlier. You remember that? I was telling mm -hmm. people, I'm like, yo, look, this is just what makes me laugh. You feel me? So, but now I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, for noticing that, bro. You know what I'm saying? The fact that, like, I just really am just trying to just help people and things like that. And I'm trying to just be myself. And I acknowledge people as real people rather than, like, you know what I'm saying, being a streamer that just getting on in. I'm only going, like, sub, like, you know how, like, a lot of people do the sub only chats and shit like that. I don't yeah, that's Because a lot of people can't pay for it. You feel me? Like, come on, man. A lot of people can't. They, don't, they ain't got files of 99 cents. It is what it is. I don't want people to think that they're left out. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it's like, because I, you know, I don't know if you even noticed this. You have not referred to, in general, you barely refer to them as just in general chat. You've given them a, a, a moniker. Oh, a I, don't, yeah, I don't say chat. Yeah, yeah that's no. other niggas. Bro, I've seen niggas tweet and say chat. What do you think about chat? 
You ain't streaming. That's a tweet, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> nigga, I say DSG every fucking time. Because DS, DSG for life, nigga. Yo, DSG already know, nigga. Rep your set in the chat, nigga. DSG <laughs> for fucking life. They know it. Bro, when, when my community, we made this shit. I didn't make it. Bro, these other niggas got the communities named after their, after them. Bro, it ain't no Daquan. You know how many niggas want to be the Will Cyrus? I'm like, y'all not Will Cyrus, man. Get the fuck. That's my real last name. Nigga, we, we made this community. We was going to be either the Anamekians or Dark Sand Gang. When niggas made that up, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Nigga, niggas in the chat made up all of these factions in the community. It wasn't me saying this shit. Bro, it's certain shit that happened. Nigga, this nigga named SG came out of nowhere and made the gorilla delegation. Like, and it's like, bro, it, it's niggas in my chat that really get to be known, bro. People make a name in the, in the community. It's not like you just go over there and you just watching the streamer. You feel me? It's like you get to hang out. Why do you think most of my streams is just me talking? I you don't I'm not worried about reactions and shit like that. Like say friends, it'd be plenty of times I'm like, damn, bro, we have been on here four hours now. We about to finally get to a video. Niggas be like W four hour intro. And it's like, damn, <laughs> nigga, you think it's an intro? No, we just talking. Like my 18 hour stream, bro, for 15 hours we talked. We only watched one video for three hours. And we only watched it for three hours because I couldn't stop talking to niggas. Like it was <laughs> you remind you remind me of um I, I used to I used to do professional Yu-Gi-Oh on a Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel, right? Asian dude was so pissed at me because he kept he kept losing to me. He lost twenty-seven times in a row to me. That's unheard of in Yu-Gi-Oh because it's random cards and they could do better. Yeah. So he lost twenty-seven times and he was like, "I'm gonna make a collection for you." He made a whole Asian forum, whole Asian forum. Did they call you? The it, it it was just called Seros the Bitch. That was it. I'd call and, you the hard R. If I like, I'm not going. It would have been Sarah Stan. You already know. It would have been. Y'all saying Sarah Stan? I'm trying to tell you, I'd have let a rip on you, bro. I would have said, said it. You said Beyblade status. You said you calling me Winnie the Pooh's best friend with an N in the front. That's bro, crazy. I'm, I'm not playing, bro. <laughs> I would have called you it, bro. No bullshit. But dog, like no bullshit. If I was, if I was any other race, oh, you got me fucked up. If I ain't saying the N word, nigga, that's why I love being. That's why I love being black because I'm able to say it. If I was. If I was any other race, I'd be calling y'all niggas all the time, bro. Y'all would hate me if I was white, if I was Asian or anything else. Because if I was Latino, y'all wouldn't care. But if y'all would hate me if I was Asian or motherfucking or white, because I'd be calling y'all so many. If I was Asian, nigra, I'd have called you a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck. Brack. And, nigga, and if I was white, oh, I'd Yes, nigga. What are you talking about, bro? Nigga, come here. You, you come in my store, you better hurry up and buy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you talking about, about Asian. I was I was I was manic as fuck at a convention one time because I do I do a panel uh, where I'm like why drip black black people love Dragon Ball Z, and I was like you notice how Vegeta never calls Kakarot by his slave name, slave. notice that. Slave <laughs> name, bro. Slave name, man. And I ever it was like ten black people in there and they went crazy they started throwing chairs and shit, <laughs> and one of the one of the white dudes was like. Mm. Monkeys. It's like we got freezing in here, guys. What? <laughs> yo, I would have been like, hey, yo, bro, I, cause like I, I fuck with it. Like no bullshit. I don't know why. I like I don't like racism, but but I'm cool with it. Like I, it's, it's just funny. Like, it's funny, bro. No bullshit. When I see a white person say the hard R, like definitely when they racist on Twitter, nigga, I'd be laughing my ass off, bro. Dog. Every time I see a video of a white person calling a black person a nigga, I'd be dying. Cause it's like, dog. If if it happened to me, I could sit there and laugh. Cause it's like. I know what I'm willing to do, but fuck it, I don't need to. If a white person walked past me, dude, goddamn, and then call me when I'm like, I'm like, damn, what the hell I do to get called that? Like, I'm a uh, laugh, bro. That shit ain't gonna bother me, nigga. The fuck? I, th I think that's why people find the the and people people always whenever I do a rant on my TikTok lives, they always like, all right, play the clip, and they'll I have this thing set up in my chat where they'll play the Boondocks Martin Luther King speech because that's what I sound like when I wow. start yapping. <laughs> I don't know, if you know the Boondocks and Martin Luther oh King speech, God, it is probably the greatest speech in history, I think. <laughs> it's like, is that what I got all the mass whoopings for? <laughs> and that's how you be going off. Bro, I'll be going crazy. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. What? Because, like, you, I don't be on TikTok. What's your TikTok? It's Saros the God, right? Saros the God, yeah. Right, it's Saros the God. I don't be on TikTok, bro. But I'm just starting to get on there like that. Because, like, I wasn't on there for, for the longest because they kept, um... They kept muting on my videos. If you so, need help with tech, because I make I make seven thousand a month doing TikTok. If you uh, let it, bro, if you, if you, you need know help, what I'm about to say let a nigga hold like let it just look. Let me hold 50 50, Thursday. Let me hold my fifty to next Thursday. Come on, bro. You know that. After, you know I'm black. After, tell you what. Tell you what. Tell you what. Tell you what. I'm a, I'm gonna do you a solid after my date. 
I figure out how much I got. I'm just going to randomly send because I have a roulette on Cash App. <laughs> yeah. I, have a ru- I have a roulette app on Cash App where I send people random money in my friends no. list. I'm going to add you as a friend list. You ain't got And you'll be the bro. first. Pr- no, 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 no. I respect you because you are just like me as a nigga. You are. I yeah. promise you. Like, it, it's like I'm speaking to, like, of my big brother or some shit, bro. I promise yeah. you. It's like, it's like, because I'm going to send you 50 <laughs> as soon as I figure out this date situation. As soon as I get this date, you're going to be like, no, this nigga actually sent 50. You're going to be confused. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, bro, you don't understand, bro. This girl named Chloe in my chat. You see her, bro, how rich she is? Dog, and I always constantly tell her, yo, she'll be like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, something is wrong with like like the other day. I forgot what she said, something was wrong with no today. She said something was wrong with something. I said, but 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 it's not wrong with your bank account. So like, why don't you just send that 50? No, no. She said they discontinued the soap. So she suggested she suggested this expensive ass soap. She said it cost a few hundred dollars. And then she said they discont- they discontinued it. I said, but they they ain't discontinue that bank account though. You know what I'm saying? You might want to go ahead and just send that bread over. Look, I I figure out the soap I could buy. You know what I'm saying? But bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I I be doing the same shit with her all the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who come over there, you know what I'm saying? My chat and, and be talking about some money. I always say the same shit. And I always oh. say, let me. You know I'm black. Let me borrow something till next Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Before, let me hold something. Before I forget, oh um, this is gonna sound chaotic. I've I've said so much nonsense about myself. I used to work at a blacksmithing shop, right? Um. And I used to blacksmith. Uh, you have a weapon for you. No, no, you have a. We have a special weapon for you. Hold on, it it better not be racist. Like, don't. No, 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 no. It's a banana. Like, no, it's it's a what? It's it's a sword. It's a Dragon Ball Z themed blade. That um, I I believe I had messaged you prior. I had made it. I I worked on it for about six months to make this blade. If you're gonna be at DreamCon, I will bring it. I don't I don't know because you know what I'm saying? I don't they ain't invite me. So yeah. They didn't invite you yet? No, 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 it ain't yet. I <laughs> bro, look. I don't look, I told you, bro. Look, man, you see put it like this. You see how much I was mentioning the shit earlier, kinda of nonstop? About uh I told you. Just just put it like that. Just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not gonna get into it, but you like I ain't got no problems with them. We have no problems yeah. with each other. But just put it like this. You see the difference in that first dream kind and the last one, right? And you see the people who was at the first two when they first started. Do you see those yeah. people anymore? No. Only the people who got what? That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. It's just basically like that. So, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just accepted it for what it was. Like I said, bro, that's why I fuck with who I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I fuck with them. Don't get it twisted. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? I just saw that for what it was. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that. So, it is what it is. That's 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 how it works, I, bro. There's there's a convention around here called Yomacon, Detroit, and every year I do a shout out. I call it a shout out to all black characters in anime. It's a three hour panel. I do every single black character in fiction. Period. All of them. Mm-hmm. And this year, or last year, November, I didn't do it. And the reason I didn't do it, because one of the people on the thing didn't like how I spoke during the panel, because I speak like a nigga. Especially when I'm hyped up, when I got a crowd in front of me, it's over. It was so, it was a it was a near riot at Yomacon because of that. A near riot. Wow. I had never seen such an outrage. It was insane, and they lost access to the second building. There's two buildings: the Renaissance Center and there's a Kobo. It's two convention centers. Mm-hmm. They lost access to the other building because of the out- outrage. That was crazy to me, and it to see Detroit have my back like that. I love that. And your community has you. Your community has you. No, nah, my com- yeah, my community definitely. And I- I'm happy about that. that. Is that is impressive? I I hope to one day, one day, because I-, I gotta start streaming for real, for real. Yeah. Hopefully one day I will have somebody as s- some community as powerful as yours, because that is impressive to me. As long as you just you know what I'm saying like actually get personal with these people you will bro a lot of, like you gotta understand you what well, not you gotta understand you see most streamers bro they don't acknowledge a chat like that and it's always just chat that's it I never say chat I always say DSG and then I don't just sit there and say this nigga said this I only I only say that at the chat going too fast but for the most part if I read it I'm always saying your name I'm acknowledging you as a person you know what I'm saying and and it don't matter if you subbed up or not. I'm always just talking to people like real people because at the end of the day, that's how I want to be acknowledged. I wouldn't, I would hate to be in the niggas chat and I'm just, I've been commenting for years. Nigga never even, you know what I'm saying, acknowledge me as a person. You know what I'm saying? So, as, as I go in these smaller streamers things, I'll be like, hey man, how you doing? 
three minutes later. They look at it. I can see them looking at it. You know, go back to playing with it. I'm like, motherfucker, get off Pokemon Stadium, you bitch ass nigga, and say hello. See what I'm saying? And then they acknowledge it when you hate on them. So they be like, they be like, they're like, okay, you can get blocked now. Like, mother. You didn't acknowledge when I showed love, but nah, no bullshit. Everybody in my chat, they know. Dog, I damn near know everybody in my chat. And the thing is, I be knowing the shit that they'll say at everything, bro. Like, nigga, we got so many niggas in the chat that like, say, man, this is, <laughs> when we doing DSG face reveals, this one nigga named Symphonize, bro, he always gonna call a nigga gay. Like, it don't matter who, it don't matter what you look like, he gonna say you gay. So everybody know, that's why I always say, we're Symphonize that when you need him. As soon as I say that, niggas just in the chat just start saying gay. Because that, that's what he always gonna say. This nigga Chris Untouched in my chat, bro. Nigga, we was, we was like, talking about something serious. This nigga come out of nowhere and donate and say he identifies a dildo. And it's like, dog, like, bro, the fuck? Like, it was so fucking random. This nigga MMA fam is damn near white, but... <laughs> But everybody in the chat can say he identifies a black woman. Bro, he's one of my mods. This is my nigga, bro. This nigga be wild. This nigga Clementine. Bro, for some reason, niggas in the chat keep, he's a mod, and niggas keep beefing with this nigga, bro. This nigga Clementine, nigga, and this nigga Denonymous, him and him go back and forth all the time. Denonymous constantly calling this nigga a fruit. Like, bro, this nigga Denonymous, he always coming through with some shit that might get me banned. So the first thing this nigga always says, is, first of all, fuck you. And it's like, dog, what did I do? Like, it's like, this is what I be saying. Like, I really know my people, bro. Like a motherfucker. My nigga Thought Sweeper, this nigga always saying the most random shit. Him and Black Greninja, both of them saying the most random shit, bro. And like I said, the reason why I do face reveals, I really want to get to know people, bro. And that's why I love my community, nigga. If we get to know people like that for real, bro. That shit fun if, as hell. If you, if you ever come to one of my um, TikTok lives, what I do all the time is, is fuck people up all the time. It's called, I'll argue the opposite of anything you want. I don't even care what it is. And... I will somebody somebody will come and be like, well, I'm I'm monogamous, and I'll be like, well, polyamory is good because the economy's in shambles and inflation is crazy, and they'll be like, ah, fuck, this nigga spitting, and then uh, then another nigga will come in, and be like, well, I'm polyamorous. Why would you do that? Why would you want to damage the sanctity? And I'll I'll go nuts. I will yeah. I will, I love doing that shit, and I'm niggas be like. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and niggas, niggas love being like, man, this nigga can argue anything. This nigga is, this nigga could lead a nation to a, a volcano. And I'm saying, I'm like, I will lead a nation to a volcano. Watch me. You just gotta let me get there. You give me some power, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, aren't aren't those called TikTok battles? Mm -mm. No, 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 not with other creators. With my chat. No, no, that's what, what I'm saying. I, oh, I didn't think about creators. I like, bro. <laughs> see, that's how you know damn well I never think about like doing anything with other <laughs> nigga. Even when I thought about this shit, I was like, yo, DSG, I'm gonna go live on TikTok and I'm gonna cook y'all niggas. Y'all niggas get to battle me, whatever y'all want to do, like rap battle, cook me, whatever. That's what I thought. Just doing the shit with my community. I thought that's. Oh, what no, you that get was. you get banned. <laughs> you think I would get banned, bro? I think you would get banned because you you gotta. On TikTok, I have to tone down so deep. On YouTube, I could be like, fuck these niggas. I can do that immediately. If I say fuck these niggas on TikTok, we're going to give you an hour suspension. They do it immediately, too. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'll be banned. mad as hell. I'm gonna get <laughs> yeah, you, you get banned. If it, TikTok is a good bag. It's a great bag to get. TikTok is a great bag, but Jesus fucking Christ, is it difficult. If You you would do great if you use clips. Clips. If you use clips, you would do crazy. Make sure it's like two minutes. You, you, your clips would go sicko mode. Like a reaction clip where you just talking, that would go sick. See, the only problem that I have is, like, whenever I'm done streaming, I don't really like going through my, my whole stream to find random clips. So I be trying to tell niggas to send me the clips because it's like certain things that be funny as hell in the streams. And it's like it's short and it's good enough for TikTok. But that's my only problem. And I'm, like, trying to find, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if somebody else does it on their own TikTok. Like, bro. I, if they making the money, it is what it is. It don't matter to me. Just as long as the exposure is getting there to add more people onto the streams. You feel me? I just want to build the community. Here's, here's what I'd imagine would be the best solution. Download OBS Vertical, and whenever you think something intense is about to happen or you feel that flow, that mania flow, mm -hmm. like download OBS Vertical. OBS Vertical is a little app on the side, right? Mm -hmm. It automatically converts anything you do on your stream into camera mode, like into phone mode. I use that shit. It helped me blow up so fast. These motherfuckers were like, "Yep, this, this, this camera quality is amazing." Cause my I got a Sony A7 IV. A fucking this is a great camera. Motherfuckers were so excited when I got this. Yeah, your quality. I was gonna ask you earlier uh, what camera you use because I'm using a Sony uh, A60 A6000. Yeah, mm. I like that's, it because like you know what I'm saying it's good quality, but you can clearly tell you know what I'm saying the difference in our quality. Your the details on you is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So. It's it's a basic lens. Sony A7 IV, 
Um, I got it because uh, I scammed a sponsor deal. Um, <laughs> Yo, you, you ain't gotta say that. Like, you, that's no, 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 no. It's fine. Publicly. They know. Bro, what the fuck? They know. They know. They know. Now they don't care. They don't. They don't care anymore. They were, they, the, the person who got me the deal said. You got me. I, I I got a message on Gmail. I, it was a TikTok video about it. Had one million views. It was like they, it's just a guy saying, "You got me." I was like, "Wow." Hey, and you this nigga celebrated, dude, dude. What the fuck, bro? That's fucked up. That's not fucked up. God damn, nigga, bro. And y'all see this? Y'all would think I'm the nigga that's doing this, bro. What the fuck? Nigga, if you if you looked at us, you'd be like, yo, he's definitely the nigga that was scammed. The fuck out of here. Uh, we, 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 nigga said we got Freaky Friday. It's crazy. But crazy, bro. <laughs> no bullshit, bro. What the fuck, man? Dog. <laughs> nigga, that's crazy. I, I, I really have lived like a, a much less dangerous and less criminal life. You would look at this nigga, man. The fuck, bro? Uh, Everybody I, I'm was the, swearing. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the fucking fella, the criminal shit, man. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I'm like, I'm like, it's crazy because like my brother looks like such a gig and my brother's never been in a gang before. He just fights everybody in gangs. Like yeah. all the Bloods and Crips hate him. Like they despise yeah. him they so deeply because he just he just beats ass. Me, I chose a side. This motherfucker was like, I gotta fight you every day now. I'm like, I'm sorry, I gotta fight you every day. I'll wake up, he be over me. He dump walnuts on my head, be like, boom. Oh hell no. Let's go. I'm like, why do you where'd you get those walnuts? He said my girl work at a walnut factory. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> kind of shit didn't make any sense to me, dog. I only got luckily enough for me. I only got punched my brother, my brother one time. He was my old, he's my older brother. This thing had punched me one time because like he don't look with me. You clearly say I joke, right? I've doing, I've done this my whole life, and I ain't gonna lie. I don't hesitate to talk about a nigga, mom, grandma, whatever. So this thing, we got the same mom, but I always would say your mom. This thing, bro. So one time this thing said something to me. I said, nigga, what your ugly ass mother? <laughs> this nigga punched me right here, bro. Knock all the wind out me, bro. I said, with your ugly ass mother, this nigga punched me in my shit. I was like, <gasps> fell on the floor and shit like that. Luckily enough, I only got hit one time by that nigga, bro. But Dude, yeah, I, my my false ribs are gone. My lower ribs are gone from the cancer. My brother, my oh, no, my oh, brother punched the shit out of me. He oh, broke my my lower ribs. I was like, all right, fine. Dang. I remember when that happened too. I felt it. I was like, well, mm -hmm. something hurt. God, that dang, shit was bro. insane. God, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said. Yeah. Daquan Wiltshire, the greatest godfather of anime, the hero, the legend, the myth. Thank I, you so I, I, much. I thought you said godfather because you're trying to say I'm old. No. <laughs> Everybody you're always like, say I'm old. Everybody no, it's just like you're like um you're like the uncle that comes in and it's like, hey, put this on. You put on like like a like samurai champlo or cowboy bebop, and then you'll be like, yeah, watch this little, watch this little young buck, and you pat his back. That's you. <laughs> I, I, nigga, I, I try to get I got my daughter watching Death Note right now I, I try to get her to watch Dragon Ball Z My son, I forced him to watch it This nigga hated me Bro, my son This nigga, I'm trying to get him to watch Dragon Ball Z He was like what about Dragon Ball Super? I said, nigga, shut the fuck up. Bro, we watching this because he didn't like that shit. He wanted to start off with Super because he wanted to see Frieza and shit. I said, nigga, you got to get to that. Fuck is wrong with you, bro. You, nigga, you, you don't realize the journey I have to take you on, my nigga. But he didn't want to watch the Raditz and all that other shit. He didn't want to watch that shit. I'm like, nah, you going to watch the Sand Saga, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, bro? My that daughter, shit is powerful. Sand Saga is so good. Mm. My, me and my daughter, her favorite anime right now is Dr. Stone. That's just hard. Mm -hmm. That's just hard. That's she just likes good. that. I was like, wow, out of every anime, you like Dr. Stone? That's good. You know what I'm saying? And um, she don't like Death Note too much, but it's like, I don't care. That's one of my favorites. So well, like, how old is she? Like, like nine? She eight. You know what I'm saying? She bought me nine. But it is what it is, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, she talking about shit. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is because like, she, because I got one, and she'd be like, yo, can I write to my name? And then it's like, no, you're not writing anybody's name in this goddamn Death Note. And it's like, <laughs> yo. You uh, no, picture this, right? You'd be like, hey, like, like a six year old, you watching Baki the Grappler. Motherfucker, what? Nigga, Baki. <laughs> nah, the thing is, no, no, I can't let them watch Baki, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the, the, not with that sex shit and everything like that. But the crazy thing is, just imagine this, right? Just imagine I come down here one day, my daughter wrote my name in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, not, I looked at, like, nigga, one time we were streaming, right? This nigga said, yo, he asked me for advice. And I, yo, Kalon, what did you say, bro? This nigga said something. He was like, yo, you, I asked you for advice, and then you you said something to me, and then you wrote my name in a death note, and I said, nigga, no, the hell I didn't, and then <laughs> I checked the death note. This nigga name is right there, bro. DSG Kalon. I said, dog, what the fuck? When I saw this shit, but no, it's the context behind it, cause like he said something like, I don't know if he was like fighting, fighting like suicidal thoughts or something like that, and then 
And then I, like, bro, I forgot what it was. It was something like that along the lines of that. And then he was like, then you wrote my name in the death note. And I was like, no, you're lying, bro. There's no way in the hell I did that. And I checked the death note. And I was like, damn, bro, I'm that fucked up. I did not. Re Yo, y'all remember that dish? <laughs> I forgot what he said though. The nigga said something and he was like, yo, bro. He's like, then you wrote my name in the death note. I was like, damn, that's fucked up, bro. The disrespect is crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. It, it was, you know what I'm saying? But yo, Shit. it's about that time for me because I ain't gonna hold you. Last night I didn't sleep. Nigga saw I streamed to like two something in the morning. Today I actually had to take my medicine because I got insomnia. So I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. Last night I slept about an hour and a half. Nigga, <laughs> I'm I'm surviving. Like, nigga, you can't even tell, can you? I slept only I an hour and a half. Nope, can't even tell. Hey, man, you you get your rest. Uh, I if anybody wants to everything today, went to the gym. All uh, that. Oh, you did cardio today? Yeah, you was telling me you did cardio. Yeah, yeah dang, I don't play. I don't play. <laughs> yeah. But um, for the, for the sake of the YouTube video, thank you guys on YouTube for following, and thank you guys for watching. Hey, this is Daquan Wilshire, the greatest man on the planet. Love him deeply. All right, we are out. I That's where I'm gonna end the video, that, bro. And y'all already know <laughs> DSG. Y'all already know what time it is with me. Y'all know how I do the outro. Look, DSG, thank y'all so much for showing up to the stream. Y'all already know DSG. I love y'all niggas to death. And until next time, I'm a holler at y'all. That don't mean I'm getting off stream though. No. I'm just getting. Them, just <laughs> no, I got. I'm just saying because I gotta say goodbye to these niggas. You know what I'm saying? All right, bro. Yo, thank you for having me on, bro. No problem. I will be. I'll be streaming. Um, if you want to rate me, you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can find another streamer, but I'll be streaming for a minute. If you send me but I'm joking. Nah, nah, I'm joking. Nah, <laughs> no, no bullshit. Nah, I will. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure, let me make sure I see your shit on Twitch. Hold on, because sometimes I don't be seeing nigga shit. Hold on. Make sure I see you on Twitch. I bet I see you. Nah, we definitely gonna raid you, bro. Cause nigga, no bullshit. You a good creator, bro. I didn't know this shit, bro. Thank you, my nigga. For real, bro. No problem. I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? All right, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you. All right, dog. All right, peace. You know what I'm saying? What's up, DSG? Hold on, let me, uh, let me, uh, yo, my bad for everybody. I know the donations is off and shit like that. My bad, y'all. It's just, I had to, you know what I'm saying, do that and shit. I just, you know what I'm saying, unmuted them. Chris Untouched, nigga, thank you for that gifted bone on DSG. Thank you for the 18 months. Hold on. Because, yeah, my bad, y'all. I apologize. Y'all already know. That was a good-ass interview, bro. No bullshit. That was definitely the best collab we've had. Yo, uh, yo, Rennie VHS, thank you for the nine months. My nigga Crow, thank you for the 16 months. Gorilla Punches, thank you for the gifted. Appreciate that. You know, Chris Untouched, thank you for the two gifteds, my nigga. That dude was super wholesome. Nah, no bullshit, yo. No bullshit. He was a good-ass creator. That was a good-ass conversation. I fuck with bro. For real. Good ass dialogue. Detroit nah, real. hype. Detroit hype. Yo, shout out to Detroit, bro. Shout out to him for surviving Detroit, too. Because I ain't going to hold y'all niggas, bro. If you know anything about Detroit, bro, he got lucky as hell to make this 27.